Monkey. 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 Hey, welcome. How you doing? Welcome back to Monkey. Wait, no, stop that. Hey, this. Ooh. Oh, it's nice. It's soothing. Welcome. Welcome. It's the really cool chat on Twitch.com. We return to Monkey. We're here at long last. It's been 30 years since I played Monkey Island 2 two days ago. Just imagine that. Pretend it's been 30 years. <laughs> and now, ta-da, there's a new one. Um, we're gonna play the Monkey Island. Came out yesterday. Um, <coughs> I'm excited. It's been a long time. A kitten? Yeah, sure. You know what? You know what? What's the 30 years? What's a little bit longer? We can look at a kitten. Show me a kitten. Computer? Computer activate kitten. What's this? What are you doing? Oh. He's spinning. He's spinning. Why he spinning? Oh. Spin around. Oh. Going as. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. This is very nice with this music. <laughs> what? Thank you. Oh my god. 47 seconds of spinning! Shoot! That's the way I want to start every stream. Yeah. Yeah, re really just spinning around. A billion years of evolution. Is that Willa? No. I don't think so. How you doing, Viz? Hello, everyone. Welcome. I hope you're excited for Monkey. Oh, yeah. You did a good spin, champ. Proud of you. Um, hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone's ready for Monkey. Uh, if anyone played the game yesterday, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't want any goddamn spoilers. You hear me? Don't make uh, all of us tap the sign. Hey, zombie. Hello. Did that dance from one of the early game Grumps merch ads? Which dance? You have to be more specific. Also, no, I don't feel like dancing. <laughs> I feel like pointing and clicking, and that's about all the activity I want to do today. Uh, no, I don't want to spoil You better not. But I don't mind if people are like... You know, help me come up with ideas for puzzles and stuff as we go. If you have not seen the game yet. You know, just like, hey, what if you try that with that? That kind of a thing. But if you know already, then that dance, that's a good dance. Am I selling? I'm selling these fine NFTs. No, uh, Stan's in prison for NFTs. Which I, I kind of hope that's in the game. It wasn't just on the website. But yeah, if you go to the Monkey Island website, you can talk to Stan who tries to sell you on the game. And he's in jail for marketing-related crimes. Flex. Thank you. Can I do any of the NSP dances? No. No. The way that those worked was, um, I would I would show up on the day of the shoot, and um, for those dances, they actually had a legit choreographer, um, and and she would teach us the dances, and we'd rehearse it for a couple hours or so, so we were decently confident. Then we'd shoot it a couple times, and then I would immediately forget everything. Dances are hard to learn, man. I don't know. There's a lot of... You gotta remember what you're doing. So... What if we do self I That would be huge. Honestly, hugest, hugest galaxy brain move. If this game's just about selling fine leather jackets and starting our business... Ugh. How they handle this in games. I am very curious to see what they do. So, let's get into it. I'm gonna get caught up on alerts. And we're gonna think of the thing. Also, um... You better believe we're gonna have a giveaway for a copy of this, courtesy of Devolver Digital. So, whenever Gam feels like doing that, um... Yeah, we can look at the scrapbook. I'm not gonna assume that people watched my... all of my streams of the other three. I didn't play four and five. One through three, I did your streams. I streamed Curse of Monkey Island years ago, and the last couple streams were playing through one and two. So many giveaways. I know, it's just kind of been... circumstance? Because, <laughs> um... <coughs> Excuse me. I do get a, a fair amount of uh, uh, codes for games, but I don't want to give away the codes that I get unless it's like I'm streaming that game. You know, I don't want like a, a like a publisher to send me a code and then I'm like, well, I'm not going to stream it, but I'm just going to steal that code and give it away. That feels odd and weird and wrong. But if I'm playing a game and a, a dev or publisher or PR company is like, here's a code for you to play, and I'm like, well, I'm going to buy it. Can I give away the extra code? And they're like, yeah, then 
I do that. Are drops on monkey droppings, maybe. Um, so September, September. Big Squee Enix TV, ten copies can rest for. Yeah, I'm definitely on. If I'm on Square Enix's radar, it's because they have a, a submarine, and I'm on that radar because they're gonna threaten my personhood with a submarine and fire torpedoes upon my location. Anyway, uh, let's get caught up on stuff, and we're gonna play Monkey yeah. Out. They have a hit list. They do. <laughs> like, if you say one more mean thing about Kingdom Hearts, oh, I tell you, hey, Monkey Boat. Oh, welcome to a monkey stream. Um, hey. Uh, uh Return to Monkey Island was recommended that I stream by none other than a mighty pirate. So thank you. Also, some people had requested that I, I stream Monkey Island 2, and I forgot to read out those names, and I deleted the, the list. It was a bunch of anonymous users, and then, like, two other people, and thank you. <laughs> I've... Hmm. Just cast reflect. I forgot. The thing is, it's like I always write down on a separate document, like, I have the whole Google Doc that populates with people's answers from the form. Uh, which, if you didn't know, we have a form. If you're like, play this game, I forgot. Um, so that's why the form's there. But, um, yeah, I just never tabbed over to the, the notepad document I made to be like, here's who I think. So whatever. Thank you, though. I do appreciate it. I try to thank people, but sometimes I forgot. Uh, in between streams, Water the Dog, sub the Prime, Killy, SG10 with 51 months, and Magoo Cha... Uh, uh, 28 months and said drawing was a mistake. Good luck with that. Also, Toaster Posey gifted a sub to Monkey. Like the six name people recommended. Go Listen, the people recommended Ghost Trick so many times I had to track down a copy of Ghost Trick on eBay. And it was like $100. <laughs> it was worth it. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, if uh, people didn't recommend it, I wouldn't have gone down that route. And then we wouldn't have all gotten to enjoy Ghost Trick together. So, listen, I'm happy for it. 100% worth it. It was so worth it. The emotes we got out of it alone. Uh, Smash with 96 bits. Before we begin stream, let's all pay three easy payments of respect and raise for the National Spampton. The National Spampton. Oh, God. B-Mod! Thank you very much. Yeah, I haven't watched the, um, the Spampton sweepstakes thing yet. It, what I've seen is a fever dream in the best way. So, thank you for that. B-Mod! First of all, thanks for 13 months in a tier two. Rat graphics. Their comment was rat graphics. Does this game have a rat graphics setting? You know, you know, I was going through the settings, um, and I turned on um, uh, text and speech, so there should be subtitles while they're talking, which is great. Um, I also noticed that there's this option for writer's cut, more blather, worse pacing, which is off by default. Um, I think I'm gonna leave that off, but what a what an option to see in a video game. Um, turn that shit on. Oh no, I. I'm inclined to leave it. The fact that it was off by default makes me feel like that that's off for a reason. But, uh, you know, it's- it, setting's worse. <laughs> right. Uh, also, because I pre-ordered the game, I'm gonna have the horse armor in my inventory. Which is promised to not do anything. So, back to Monkey. It's tempting. Listen, if you buy Return to Monkey Island, now available on Steam and Switch, for um, twenty-five dollars, you can play your own playthrough with more dialogue that even the developers don't recommend you turn on. Apparently, so there you go. Yeah, we got some horse armor. Um, <coughs> thank you, B Mud. Uh, Bread Butcher, thanks for four months. Welcome back. Thanks for the prime. Big old teeth in the hammy. Monkey see monkey doing donuts on my front lawn. Damn monkeys. Stop doing donuts on my lawn. I paid you to mow it. What are you doing? Lay, lame, babe. 34 months. Sitting here waiting for class to start. Here's my 34. Smell y'all in the VODs. Have a good VODs. Have a good class. Thanks so much. DJ, okay, thanks for 40 months. Holy gosh darn diddly 40 months. That's like a lot of months. Thanks for being the best berry I know. Granted, I don't know about that many berries. Shop and be loved. Yeah, it's not the most common name, which I'm fine with. Um, thank you. Yeah, I when I was younger, I, I, I was like, man, I wish I had a less rare... I wish I had a more common name, you know? Because being different when you're a kid can suck. Not that, whatever, it's fine. But now I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of glad. Even though it gets misspelled every time I go to Starbucks, it's like, yeah, it's, it's nice to... Maybe there's a there's some be benefits to not... I mean, it's like... I, <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, like, any common name I come up with, there'll be like 20 people in chat like, that's my name. Thanks. It's like, I... 
I'm not intending to bully anyone, but it's like, yeah, like I know a lot of people with like one of the same five names. So, yeah, yeah, it's fine. They write it with an E, most common. Um, yeah, I've gotten some very strange spellings over the day, but yeah, it's it's rare for my name to be spelled correctly. And then go, when we go to like Disneyland or something, you know, like like Bort, the little license plates with everyone's names on them, they would never have my name. Um, so I don't know what, what this this tangent isn't going anywhere. I've made my peace with it, and now I like my name. But you know, I'm sure that people can relate to that as well. They spell it Guybrush. Yeah, Barre. They're required to misspell it. Yeah, I for, I forget if it's uh, Gam's theory or someone else's, but I've heard the theory that they are trained or told to spell it um, incorrectly so that people share pictures of their coffees on social media. I'm like, I don't. That is the dumbest conspiracy theory I've ever heard. I think they're just overworked and underpaid and can't be bothered to check the spelling of everyone's name. So, and it's not like Starbucks needs the publicity. There's like 15 Starbuckses on every corner. Barre. I just like it as a conspiracy theory. It's a very low stakes conspiracy theory, so I'm fine with that part. I'm gonna get a job with Jones. <laughs> gonna be the inside scoop. That's very not true. I, yeah, but see, listen, maybe, maybe they got you under that NDA and you're not allowed to tell us the truth, right? Mm-hmm, see, it's a perfectly closed conspiracy theory because everyone that knows the truth has been bought out by Starbucks. Everyone knows it anyway. Uh, it's absurd and provably false, therefore it's true. Uh, Evbe, thanks for 100 bits. Monk, Monk, Monkey is, oh yeah, Monkey Island. Monkey is land. Maybe that's the secret of Monkey Island. Toaster Posey, what kind of soup do you think this game has? I'm thinking of like a minestrone or chicken noodle. Tombstone Saint, thanks for tier two in 30 months. Enjoy your outhouse key. Finally able to catch a stream after so long. How's everyone doing? What is time? What am I? I do we have a monkey for sub badge? No, but maybe we're only a few months away from uh, a five year sub badge. Jesus. Write that down. Write that down, monkey. Would it just be a banana? It's not even a banana with like a key-shaped protrusion. It's just a banana. And you just kind of mush it into the door and it opens. Uh, Hoflax, thanks for 10 gifted subs. 10. To Wild Funimal, Fatums48, G, Lupigla, K, K, Fronter, Front? Uh, Fro Duck 42, Whack on Waterton, Zephalos, Water, uh, uh, Watery Nyade 88, and Harkin Arcana. Welcome! And thank you so much, Hoflax. That's very kind. I was on a lot of Keyblades as a kid with too much time. You know what? I, I didn't, but I learned that that was a common thing when I, a person on the internet, said, Hey, other people on the internet, can you send me a, a, a hand-drawn Keyblade for a video? And then I got hundreds. Hundreds of Keyblades. A handful of people sent me like a dozen each. And I was like, oh, some people have spent a lot of time thinking about their own Keyblades. <laughs> so I became intimately aware that that's a quite quite a common uh, thing. Uh, I have a question. Should I buy this game and play it blind, come back in Vodland? That's a great, great question. Um, certainly what you could do is just watch the first couple minutes of the game. We're about to start here in a minute. Um, and if you're like, heck, this is great. I'm going to buy it and come back later, then... That might be a move. I, for one, am very excited, but I have not low expectations. I have, like, no expectations. I have no idea if this is going to suck or not. I, you know, point-and-click adventure games are weird, and there have been many, many attempts to kind of bring them back. The thing that's exciting about this most of all is that it's the original creators and some of the original team coming back. Because other than the first two Monkey Island games, the other three had, like, only tangential connections to the original team. Um, namely Ron Gilbert, the original creator of the franchise. So this is his triumphant return after 30 years. So, you know, that might mean it's great and holy shit. Look at all these cool ideas he had for 30 years. Or maybe it's, oh shit, those first two games were a fluke. We'll find out together. So, it, okay, so we just played through, I mean, we'll, we'll, when we go through the scrapbook, I'll probably mention it, but yeah, it does, it's not that it was a dream. It's weirder than that. It's kind of make-believe, I guess that's fair. Um, have a new monkey on game with point-click controls, not some weird control screen. I believe it is. Con I mean, I know it's controllable with a controller because it's available on Switch, but 
Yeah. And and from what I saw, um, they got rid of the whole verb menu, which on the one hand is like, oh, but that's so much of what those games are, but also like kind of fuck that. Like, I, it makes a lot of sense for a modern point-and-click adventure game to be like, use object with object, not like, hold on, you didn't use the right verb, so now you're stuck. It's like, it's, the times have changed. Not not everyone who's picking up this game is going to be intimate, intimately familiar with scum games. So I'm fair with it. Eat object with object. Uh, wonderful composer Michael Land. A composer almost every other LucasArts adventure game. Yeah, Michael Land and Peter McConnell did music for this, and I'm very excited. Um, you need to don the armor. Oh my god, that, that would just be text adventure nonsense of like, you used the wrong verb. Uh, game fan 44 thanks for seven months. There in forest, nine months. A ruby, key, and a baby. Uh, it's a Monkey Island game, and he has your beard. Aw, little baby with the beard. Uh, Hoyperium, thanks for 49 months. Autism Dragon gifted a sub to Falco Phoenix. You had to go to your 50 months. Look at all those months. Brock, with 100 bits. Smash Man with 100 bits. This Phantom plushie made me wonder if we'd ever get a Barvatar plushie. One that talks and says your favorite Barry Kramer quotes. Like, mumbling into the microphone and... burping loudly. Yeah. No, I would love to someday do a Barvatar plushie. Just for one, it would be extremely challenging to not make it look terrifying. Uh, and for two, it definitely wouldn't have quotes inside of it. I would much rather have a fun little plushie than something that's groaning as the battery dies. <laughs> Damn you, Flygon! Say yeah, no. No! He said my name. Well, you were gifted a sub! I hope you enjoyed the emotes. Walk. We got a bunch of emotes. Uh, B Mud with five gifted subs to end night. Sorry. It's end king HT. So, thank you for, uh, B Mud. Uh, end king HT. Oh, hello! Dodger! Hello! Hey, Dodger people. You might recognize this room. <laughs> Welcome! I really appreciate the raid! How the hell are you doing? We're just starting here. I'm getting caught up on alerts, and we're gonna play a new Monkey Island that came out yesterday. We're back for the office! Oh shit, am I getting kicked out? <laughs> you know what? Fair. You know what? Fair. Dodger has a claim on this before I do. Hey, welcome! I really appreciate it! Hope you're all doing good! She wants your office back. Well, she's... she to steal it back. Fisticuffs. Nah, she can have it back. It's fine. <laughs> I'm in Dodger's room. Yeah, it's um, a very uh, uh, roundabout weird story. Um, the, the, the very, very short version is that I moved to a new apartment several years ago, and the internet was so bad I couldn't stream from home. I needed a place to temporarily stream from while the internet was fixed. Turns out Spectrum doesn't know how to fix the internet that they made. So um, just circumstantially, Dodger was streaming from here, but I've been streaming from home because she just had a baby. And so she wasn't using the space. So it was like a temporary thing to be like, oh, well, let me use this space while well, Dodger's not using it. Great. And then I never left and Dodger moved <laughs> out of the country. So it all just kind of, you know, it weirdly worked out. It was not really a plan. Um, but yeah, if Dodger's like, no, give it back, I'll be like, all right. It's fine. That's why I'm a monkey. Yeah, I kicked Dodger out to the UK. I was like, you... You get out of here now. She's great. She's excellent, and I really appreciate the raid. Um, yeah, if chat, if my chat, if you're not following Dex bonus, what are you doing? What are you doing? I've been a squire this whole time. Always have been. There for a very long time. Take mm -hmm. me home, oh. Country toad to the place with the toad. Spin. Toad Virginia. Thank you. Mountain frogger. Spin. Take me home. Country tone. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Let me get caught real quick, because we gotta have a monkey. Hi, dear. Hello. Also, a thing on Mary Strippin. <laughs> I'm gonna marry Strippin if it's the last thing I do. Damn, that man is tall and handsome. It's not fair, man. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me get caught. I'm almost caught up. Thank you. Kind of messed up. Hey, listen. You can, you can break into someone's house and host a dinner party. Probably shouldn't, but you can. Um... Rebecca Roney, thanks for 10 bits. Monkey Tim, Zamoy with 50 bits. I turned on your stream and my cat bapped the screen. She says hello. Hello. Alistair, thanks for 22 months. Find streams through the lovely Dan Jones. It's been a lovely time. It was also during the start of the pandemic. Sort of weird, both gauging how fuck things have been since. At least the funny stream man makes me smile. Yeah, things have been a little bit 
a little bit bumpy, but I'm happy to have you. Thank you so much. Guttural 10, three years. Enjoy your Oki. Um, can't believe it's been three years watching my favorite n flesh tuber. You know, our relationship reminds me of the friends I met while skydiving. A parasocial relationship. Very good. V thank you. Average Jonah, thanks for four months. That's one third of 12. Uh, Dodger, again with the rate. Thank you. Smash Mouth 100 bits. Uh, you can watch the National Spamton. It's true. All rise. Darren Forrest. Thank you for the spin. Become pirate. Metasaur with a year. Monkey. Hell yeah, year. And randomly generated. Thanks for 100 bits. I appreciate it. Hey. You guys want to have a monkey on? Uh, let's share the scrapbook first. Because this hey, is. Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? Jeez. It's filled with my adventures. That's previously on. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. Yep. I like these little doodles. You gotta work on your logo design. It's just a G and a T. You could do more than that. Nice cursive, though. Tell me more. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. That's him. Um... In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Mm-hmm. This is Monkey Island 1. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. Mm-hmm. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. Yep, they got a lot of the original voice cast back for this new one. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. Insult sword fighting. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. She was governor at the time. Mm-hmm. We broke into her house. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Mm-hmm. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. Yeah, this just came out yesterday, and it has been 30 years since Monkey Island 2. Not in-game. In-game, it's presumably been no time, but... It's been a long-awaited sequel. An official whatever. You know what I mean. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. He thought. LeChuck thought he was in I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Just a little bit. Mithra! Congrats, Mithra! And thank you for 10 gifted subs. Hope you all enjoy the Z-Months. Thank you, Mithra. Congrats! We might have stranded our crew on Monkey Island. It's fine. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. Thank you, Ryan. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. I'm liking these little updated doodles of the original game's art. It's cute. The monkey head opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. Yeah. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. Mm -hmm. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. Elmo and Grouchland. It's the second biggest one. Yeah, it turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? Yeah, she's fine. I defeated LeChuck and he basically exploded. Mm-hmm. By then, I had learned that ghosts like LeChuck are vulnerable to root beer. It just trust me. It works, okay? Mm -hmm. It was the beginning of something magical. Aww. Uh, and then, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. Monkey Island 2. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. Yeah. I met my good friend. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. He stole it for no reason, never feels bad about it. I mean, we stole it for a reason. So we could give it to Captain Dread, even though we could have given him many, many other things, presumably. It's puzzle game logic. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. 
he was using magic, but then so was I. Voodoo doll against voodoo doll. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Oh. Well, Chuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. Huh. So they're just glossing over the end of Monkey Island 2 and going straight into curse? So, yeah, interesting. Um, curse is canon? Maybe. Uh, well, um, so at the end of Monkey Island 2, which I just streamed a couple days ago, um, it's all canon, all of it. Maybe some curse. Well, I know that, like, yeah, like, Murray's in the new game and stuff. Uh, he just likes Murray. Um, at the end of Monkey Island 2, you're, you're, you make a voodoo doll of LeChuck and you, like, rip off his legs and he's a zombie and he's falling apart. And he's like, wait, it's me, your brother, Chucky. And you take off his mask and LeChuck is your brother. And then a guy walks in going, you kids get out of here. And then you walk out of the chamber you're in and Guybrush and LeChuck are two little kids in a theme park and their parents are like, come along now. And it's kind of implied that there's like, you know, magic involved, well, Chuck is evil still, and it cuts back to Elaine being like, where's Guybrush? But yeah, she she implied, yeah, Elaine kind of implies, she's like, I hope LeChuck didn't cast some spell, but yeah, they don't even mention that. Well, anyway, I guess curse. He made an evil right. The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. Okay, LeChuck didn't turn Elaine into a statue, Guybrush did. Uh, well, yeah, at the start of Curse, they just sort of hand wave it away. They're like, oh, he escaped. Yeah, uh, Guybrush stole a diamond ring from LeChuck's boat and used it to propose to Elaine, and it was cursed and turned her into a statue, and that's a lot of the game. So, all right. It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic Fan skull, favorite after Murray. a rousing sea battle. Fan favorite character. I got eaten by a snake. That's true. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. Oh, was LeChuck gonna give it to her? That's pretty messed up. I got buried alive. Mm -hmm. Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, matchmaker. Mm -hmm. This was a great okay. day. <laughs> Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Yeah, you know. Mm, it's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. No, these little doodles are very fun. This is the daisy we stomped on together. The wedding traditions are weird. It's true. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. Well, I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. This was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Escape from Monkey Out. I was just like, okay, are they just like wrapping up and moving on? They're not going to talk about... Nope, they're talking about escape as well. Yeah, you get near his wedding swords. Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, <clears throat> so they held an election to replace her. Mm -hmm. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? Or was it? I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. That just about sums up Escape from Monkey Island. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. Yeah. Yeah. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand they, scale They don't that really time. mention it, so... Well, I mean, he previously said that he would, he would not be above stealing ideas from the other games. It's just interesting that, like... This basically means anything is on the table to come back. Um, but, uh, was it? yeah, so in the first game, LeChuck is dead and he's a ghost. He's a ghost pirate. In the second game, his body's brought back from the dead and he's a zombie. In the third game, he's a zombie and then he drops a cursed voodoo doll and turns into a flaming demon. In the fourth game, he comes back as a politician. <laughs> and he's running for governor of Melee Island because Elaine was declared dead. So, you know, he goes from ghost to zombie to demon to politician. Which, for all of Escape's faults, that's maybe one of the best parts of the game. He's just a normal guy, and he's pretending to be someone else, and then he reveals that he's actually LeChuck. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Yeah. Or so it seemed. And then the fifth entails, he... he he has the evil sucked out of his body and becomes a good guy, a human. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. 
The pox. Morgan LaFlay betrayed me, even after we bonded inside a giant manatee. I should have trusted her less. Yeah, you know. Elaine wasn't fooled by LeChuck's human form any more than I was. I should have trusted her more. Yeah, monkey pox, there you go. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death. Except when it does. Look at this. Love did win out in the end. Why? I don't remember why that's over a unicorn. Were there unicorns in that game? I only played it the one time. I, don't... I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. Well, I defended myself, of course. Mm -hmm. How'd she become unstatuified and curse the Monkey Island? It's part of the plot of that game is, is uh, curing the curse. When she gets frozen um, in the gold, one she's... time. Elaine got turned She's winding into a up statue. the punch guy brush. Well, Chuck was behind it, of course. Um, that guy never gives up. You uh, uh, you give her the cursed ring, and she's like, oh, that's great. And then Wally from 2 shows up, because he was on the ship, and he's like, oh, that's the cursed ring from LeChuck. And she's like, what? Winds up to punch him. She's frozen. She gets stolen by other pirates. You have to hunt her down, cure the curse. And then as soon as she's unfrozen, she punches Guybrush in the face. She finishes that lineup. It's like the entire game is spent like... Waiting for that punch to happen. It's a good bit. Um, then there was the yeah. time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Yeah, it's or cute. Or so it seemed. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Objection. Exactly. Oh. oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. I defeated LeChuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Good. Note to self, get more paper for the rest of my adventures. All right. Well, there's your backstory. You ready? Wait, let me get caught up. Mithra, 10 gifted subs. Tachar, Mage Way, Xeonicus, Matface9, Nidalfir, Glorkenshplork, Bepep and Shep, Very Tired Bird, LLO92, Drunkishly, and Red War Machine. Ryan's a turd, thanks for three months. Thanks for the prime. Enjoy your silver key and all the emotes. Welcome back. Arachnophobia Kid with three months. Been playing Tinykin because of you, thanks. I'm glad you're liking it. Yeah, I need to finish that. But I had a lot of fun with it. And Jake with 45 months. The adventures we've had, I'm so proud of. Checks notes, Mancomb Fourstone. That's his name. He's a mighty pirate. All right. Without further ado, let's go. Oh, never mind. Wait, uh, casual mode? All the story and all the fun with casual puzzles for the busy on the go player or hard mode? More pu- look at that text jiggle. More puzzles, harder puzzles. The full monkey for the pro adventure gamer who wants it all. The shrine of the silver monkey. I'm feeling like we gotta go full monkey. I didn't- I didn't wait 30 years- I didn't wait 30 years. 30 years ago, I was two. But I didn't wait 30 years for casual mode. I'm glad it exists, though. Let's go full monkey. Pull me back in! Prelude! An unexpected story begins. Nice. I always love that chapter art. I waited 30 Take years. Take this, LeChuck! Ugh. Guybrush. Come over here, gently now. Remove my mask. Okay. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids, you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! What? <laughs> Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Uh-huh. That is the weirdest move. Well, sorry boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. What? What? Okay, sure. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Yeah, I don't... What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. So not only is everything after two canon, but so is the ending of two. What? Farther away from delicious scurvy dogs. 
We'll get some scurvy dogs and then go play over there. No, no, all the pre-release trailers were all fake. You're just kids in a theme park. Where's my horse armor? So Buy scurvy dogs. Junior Mighty Pirates to-do list. Okay. That would be incredible. But then the game's like 10 minutes long and they're like, what oh, we do time next? to go home. We gotta get some scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe oh my God. we never had one. Ugh. They were, yeah, they very strangely were like, actually those aren't their I nerds. once had the hiccups for four days straight. The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. Damn, how's that dampy dumper doing? There's a rat in the barrel. Well, that's fun. He has good ideas. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. You cannot um, toggle, toggle monkey graphics. Hello? Boo! Ah, he's dead to the world. Ah, sounds real. Mm-hmm. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. Oh, shit. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. All right, let's get some goddamn... Wait, hold on. I want to finish exploring. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? Gross, brother. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. Nah, Are they orphans? I want to get scurvy dogs. I mean, we'll probably find out soon if this is all a curse or something. Exhibit removed. Aw. This would be great for Apple Bobby. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Get ye some scurvy dogs. Hello. It says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh. Oh, you can left or right click. Um. Uh, what? Huh? Well, okay. Grog? Chicken foot fries? How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. That's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Mm -hmm. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien scorbet. Uh-huh. Uh... How much are those chicken foot fries? Chicken foot fries are two pieces of eight. We don't have any pieces of eight. How much is a mug of grog? Grog's for grown-ups. Beat it. Can we get a mug of grog, please? I told you, grog's only for grown-ups. Stop wasting my yeah. time. Fine. Uh... Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Oh, look at them. Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. Saying please always I works in these games. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. Most kids would have been given grog as it would be cleaner than the water at the time. Nice. I guess, never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Yoink. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Yeah, you got it back. It's locked. Is that your little I think call? I've got the key in my pocket. I don't know. I can stand on my head without using my hands. <laughs> it unlocks the outhouse. Find a coin. Buy scurvy. We need the scurvy dogs, damn it. Alright. Good. You unlocked it. You still have to grab it from your inventory, so that's classic adventure game design. Didn't streamline it all the way. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Huh. Why does every container have a rat Gross. in it? Gross. 
Mm -hmm. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. These are the rat graphics. Please oh. wash hands before leaving outhouse. Mm-hmm. With the with the poop water. Um. Where should we look? The secret All of rat. over. Do you see any coins? It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Grab it. A fake coin is Ooh. almost as good as a real coin. That's some Red and Stimpy style art. Um, okay. Well, we got a slug. Oh. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. All right, well, we got a piece of eight, right? This is gonna go great. Uh-huh. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Very cool. Um, it looks like a piece of eight, if you don't see very well. Is he gonna... What can we get with this? I wouldn't bite that. Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs Hooray. if you want. Perfect! Sweet. Take them, boy. Yay. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Delicious. And the day was saved. I'm having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> okay. Uh, can we go over this way now? Let's go that way now. Great. That's my friend D. Hey, D. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. Is this the whole game? <laughs> I'm so there. confused. Perfect. Uh -huh. See around the park, sit heads. Oh, spit and fun. You can this spitting. You can spit over there. Or presumably this is where we went in Monkey Island too. Did you know your feet won't smell if sure. you don't wash them? Thanks, Chucky. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat. Thank you, Kim. Shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. <laughs> they started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow shape design is actually less effective uh, than the sharp butt. The older design went out of fact. You can still find the old kind around on a modern anchor. If you look close, mm -hmm. that's to prevent what's called plummeting. Where the anchor the little flanges at the tips mm -hmm. are a different and most anchors these days about 30 years ago. All kinds of but the only way they could keep the word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara. Meaning city. Really? They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. Is that real? Yeah. That's neat. I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. I learned something new today. <laughs> this isn't the writer's cut, no. If you miss anything, you press comma to see previous lines. Press down here to see more previous lines. I'll to the next line and skip to exit. Oh. Woo. Ooh, that's nice. I kind of would prefer it. Some games do it as like a script where you can actually like at see home, it all at once. I've got a collection of old nice. scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Sweet. Um, challenge you to a spit race. Oh, hey, it's, Chucky, want to race? It does say fun sprun. I'll officiate. Instead Three, of fun spit. Two, one, go! Oh, oops. Chucky I didn't. Wins! I didn't know I had to actually. I just assumed he would have run on his own. Yeah. Right, let's go again. Yeah. Go again. Go again. You up for another race? I don't You're have my on. cursor up until I'll after it's done. So. Three. Hey, cheater. There it is. You have to wait okay. until I say go. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. You up for another? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go. Shit. He goes right Chucky at the. Chucky wins. God damn it, Chucky. I don't care. Yeah. One more time. One more time. Shoot. One more time. This one for real. 
your for you're on. I'll officiate. Three, Kay. two, one, go! Oh come on, he's too fast. Jackie wins. He's built for speed. Look at him. He's got that runner's build. Yeah. All right, Darn. fine. Hey, look, our fake parents. I bet I've known Chucky longer than you have. No chance. <laughs> we go way back. Thank you, Cave. Uh, sup? Hey, hands off. That's our bread. Look at that duck. I want to feed the duck. Can you remember? Hmm. What is, is that a kid stuck in the thing? Right. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, are they brothers? Apparently, but you know, we'll see. Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Ducks can't ducks can't digest bread. Excuse me. Yes. So what should you give them? Nothing. Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean? Double click again? to run. Run along and find your oh. real parents. Oh shit. Oh, you can really move. Oh damn. Okay. You up for another race? All right. You're on. All of this weird thing to admit. Three, if that's two, what this is about. One, go! Zoom! Okay, we're very fast. I win! <laughs> now he's dead. Hooray. I did it. Uh, mess around and explore. Add some sauce to the scurvy dog. Practice sword fighting. Four leaf clover, make a wish. Find our real parents? Well, they were two skeletons back in the other area. Cracked corn, oats, rice, bird seed, frozen peas, chopped lettuce, sliced grape. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger. Don't feed the duck. Don't feed him. Why not? What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. All right. Say no more. You're not going to touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. But I am gonna put it on the ketchup. You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Oh, oh, I can't rub it on the ketchup on the ground, but if I pick up the ketchup and put it in my pocket, then I can rub them together. Sure. It smells bad. All right, do it. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Mm-mm. Just like mama used to make. <laughs> Delicious, right? Right? Delicious? Yeah, see? Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. Oh. Who? Uh, oh. Uh, anyway. Um. Do you want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. I need a sword. Oh, Let's yeah. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Hmm. Hmm. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. Yeah, I think there's one right there. Bam! Easy. I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! Gotcha. Uh. Air up in the gate. In France. Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. Oh. Thanks. It's I ominous. should find a coin to throw in. Um. Now you're cursed. I've been cursed. The whole time. I need a coin? Do I have a coin? I don't have a coin. I never thought I'd ever find one. How do I steal their bread? Better feed that duck. Can I feed him? I can stand on my head without using my hands. Feed him the meat. Ducks are carnivores. I'm saving this scurvy dog for myself. Damn it. <laughs> it's that good. It's that good. He loves it. He loves it. Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. Uh, you hungry for clovers? What? Oh, huh? I want to feed the duck. Now he's lucky. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. Make a wish at the wishing well. We need a coin. Anybody see a coin anywhere? 
Uh. Whoa. Uh. Hey, I can zoom. It's a lucky ducky. This place is fun. Return the bathroom key. I mean, I think we uh. Tab shows interactable stuff. Oh! Oh, that is nice. No more food. We already got food. I want to go play now. Looks like they need a swabby in here. I'll never be the ship swabby. That That's is cute that really, they're like really low. They're like hand drawn little circles. Well, um. That's where the outhouse key was. We don't have. Oh wait, I sure do have hey, it. Hey, look! I'm returning the key. You want a medal? Did you know you can keep a scurvy dot warm by yeah. sticking it in your armpit? Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> Damn, dude. Those glasses. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. Sorry, sir. Um. Okay. Uh. I need a. I need a key. I mean, a coin. I wonder where those two people we were following went. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe there's another coin in here. Uh, Chucky has good ideas. Wash my hands. I'm not touching that gunk. It seems okay. more like something Chucky would do. Tie him up. He didn't want to be tied up. Wash your hands in the hey, poop like uh, a good Chucky. boy. St no way. Zow! God damn, we're fast. Um. Nah. Oh. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. Correct. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Blah, blah, blah. Blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah. Mm -hmm. Blah 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 mm -hmm. blah 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 blah
See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. God damn it. I hate how well that works. God damn it. <laughs> it's framed narratives all the way down. Well, kind of half did. Nice. Hit me with the... Yeah! Oh! Oh, we back! Oh, we back! Oh, yeah. Well, you could argue it's always been fake and it's always been real. Just the very ending of one... Was that? It turned to a part on. Mm hmm. I did notice that some stuff changed, but I was. I like feel like I missed when that happened. Hey, Jasmine, thank you. Hello. Oh, man. Dinky game mention. Dinky Island is real. Yoko Taro. Pirate Yoko Taro. Yeah, that, thank you. Yeah. Taro. Part one. A friendly place. Chop it up. Intro, let me warm up to lifestyle. Same. Uh, feels good to be Mostly. back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi. Rat. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly. Swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. Do you know my history with him? The other thing about it being a framed narrative with the kids is like that explains how the other games in the series are all canon you know it's like those are all stories in order everything's canon just the very end of two leads into this it's just it it they did it they did the mad lads did it i just assumed that it was gonna be like, oh, nope, the end of two was like a curse, and you break the curse, and he's like, phew, and then the adventure continues, right? That seems like the obvious way to do it. But they found a way to make it interesting and surprising and make sense. Which, bravo. That's impressive. We shouldn't have doubted him, man. Hate it and love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of mad, too. <laughs> uh, LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas. We've been enemies for my whole career. That guy steals all my best ideas. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Um. Yeah. Yeah. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. Mm-hmm. We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny, he said the same thing about you. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? 
Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. <laughs> it's like a mini lookout. That's cute. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? <laughs> Hi there, little guy. Hi. <laughs> All right, they still got it. Why can't I interact with the rat? Mm. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. I don't know. Staring at fires is nice. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. Shouldn't you be on your way to the scum bar to talk to the pirate leaders? Well, I was right. just about to head down there. Trivia cards around the maps. Can I just go into the island? My business okay. right now is down those stairs right. with three pirate leaders and the <clears throat> fat wad of cash they're going to give me. Yeah, sure. I believe it. It is very... I'm very glad that I only just extremely recently replayed one and two. So it's very fresh. Re-elect! Re-elect Governor Carla. She's tough on toughness. Carla's the governor now. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh, that is just LeChuck's ship, isn't it? I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is up to. All right. Um, excuse me, what happened to the smiley face on the scum bar's sign? Some things never change. The scum bar will be here as long as there are pirates. Damn pirate wannabes. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. Half moon. In the back. Welcome. Yar. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. In the back. In the back. Looks like a circus act. Maybe. Where's the little dog? Where's the cop? So I can ask about Loom. Everything's different. Ah. Oh shit. Oh, their theme is much more intense. Shady, no, it hasn't been that long in game, has it? I really need to talk with the pirate leaders first. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. Tempted to wait and see what happens. All right. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. Uh... Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Mm -hmm. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, they were kind of no. mean. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. It's. It, I mean, there's been a change in leadership, but meanness has just been replaced by sarcasm. <laughs> Don't know if it's much of an upgrade. Is it you <coughs> I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? Yeah, there's real crackly fire in the right. Um, the uh, August presence? Nah, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous. I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing. Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. 
He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. It's not exactly a raid. Exactly, it's a raid. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Princess Bride, yeah. Um. Exactly, it's a raid. Fine. Well, don't keep us in suspense. What's the target? I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. I like time. how many close-ups they're doing. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value, a prize of incredible cultural value. It's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. It's a personal passion. I really want to find it. Uh, it's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. The only mystery here is who let you into this bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. He forgot about for a few games. Yeah. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? I can make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. Point me towards an available ship. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. Uh... I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great, problem solved. Excellent, you'll do it. <laughs> no. Of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> okay, that's good. Fine. That's good. That's good. I don't need you or your money. I'm just carving hot on the own. table. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. Yeah, mm. you tell. I like the old pirate leaders better. <laughs> nice. Uh, should we head to the town? Can I go to the. Oh, hey. Le Ship? LeChuck's ship's name is Le Ship? How clever. That's extremely stupid. Expedition to Fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Uh huh. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You, you look like a guy without many options. Yeah. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. You can tell she's a lady skeleton because she put lipstick on her teeth. Um, I'd love to be a swabby. Have you got anything more senior? Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? Some teeth stick. A uh, second mate, a boatswain, a ship surgeon, a gunner. Maybe Swabby's not so bad. You have to serve any of you just bones. I could be second mate. You gotta Do be you bones. honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? <laughs> How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What are you bench? Bench? No problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. 
I can take it. I have a lot to do today. Nice. Maybe Slobby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, your job is... Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Guybrush Threepwood. Smith. John Smith. Andrew LeChuck, nephew. Andrew LeChuck, no relation. Andrew LeChuck. No relation. What a coincidence. <laughs> LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Damn it. Well, ah, shit. that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. <laughs> so I have to disguise myself and get a mop? Is that what's going on? I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays, 3 to 4. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Efe. LeChuck is a very talented artist. Or maybe they just have a, an artist on the ship. And he was good at describing Why was Wally his... in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison. Would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Hmm. 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 Is there something else? No. All right, Tolo Street. The Voodoo Lady. You gotta draw a mustache, then give yourself a fake Lane? mustache. Exactly. Oh. Eye brush. Oh, hi. Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! Uh, there she is. I was hoping you'd turn up in the story. How's your scurvy prevention project? You won't believe how I'm getting to monkey out. Remind me how long we've been married. Remind me how long we've been married. Well, it still feels like the first day somehow. Aww. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me! Me too! Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. Mm-hmm. You won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. I've known you a long time. Try me. I'm planning to sign on to LeChuck's crew, mutiny them, and take the ship. Oh, dear. Isn't there an easier way? Oh, trust me. That is the easy way. Mm. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. Voodoo's going out of business. Oh no. Um. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. I'm gonna do this until the sun interrupts us. No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. Okay. Bye. No. Bye. No. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santa Catalina. Hmm. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. <laughs> she just says, oh no. Going out of business? This place is an institution. They're having a half off sale. Where's the guys with the rat? Where's the guys with the rat? They've moved on. Well, I guess they were. Oh, Wally set up shop on Melee. Looks like Wally's got a new place in Melee. That's I cute. I hope he's not still sore about the monocle. 
Hey, it'll be fine. Oh, yeah. That clock has been broken for decades now. Mm hmm. If any clock were the exception to that rule, it would be this one. What kind of person would just paint on a wall like that? Graffiti here, graffiti there, graffiti everywhere. This place has kind of gone downhill. Elaine would never have stood for this when she was governor. What kind of person would just paint on a wall like that? Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Yeah, I really like the background art. Welcome, Guybrush. Even harkens back to like. Nice to see you again. Day of the Tentacle style waiting backgrounds. For you. Like that early, like. Early mid 90s pixel art out of LucasArts. Like the. the I gotta say, the, um, the character art, I think, is the most controversial part of the art style of this game. I don't know if anyone's ever. Well, I don't know. A lot of people were complaining about the art when they first revealed this, but for me, the backgrounds always looked good, even in that first reveal. But spending more time with it, the character art is growing on me. Seeing it in motion, I was really worried about a lot of it. But seeing it in motion, yeah, I was worried it was going to feel too cheap. But there are a lot of custom little animations and poses and stuff. It makes them not just feel like really cheap cutouts. Um, so I'm curious to see how it keeps going, but let's get used to it. Very Coraline, a bit. My, my biggest concern was just the fact that their eyes are just little black dots. Um, but so far, that's actually been working out for me so far. So, thank you, Smash Man. Um, taking it. Yeah, me too. Um, see you and it. Thanks for four months, Cave. Thanks for the ten bits. Half Moon, twenty months. Don't know anything about Monkey Island. Can't wait to swing from some trees and eat bananas. Exactly. Everybody thinks on her bits and Smash with on her bits. The framing device reminds me of the latest King's Quest. How old Graham told the story to his granddaughter. It also remind me of how, despite a few callbacks to the original series, this, the game felt more like a Monkey Island game or Telltale than King's Quest, right down to young Graham basically being a medieval guy brush three foot. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they, they yeah. I, I think also the fact they're doing a lot of like close up cutaways is helping with the emotion too. That said, all that said, the fact that it is growing on me and I am liking it, I still hate guy brushes those. I, I, it, it's, it just bothers me. <laughs> You mean fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. Yeah. It's a gift. Allow me yeah. to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent, which swallows itself. In Ouroboros. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Oh! Hmm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. <laughs> to know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. That's cute. That's pretty cute. That swallows itself. Mm hmm. Let me zoom on the characters. Yeah, it, it does make it feel a lot more polished, too. Um. I like how they're like, here's a book of hints, but also use it sparingly. Which only looks true. Get a mop. All of the other reindeer. I don't know if I know it. Um. Okay, so you can, like, be like, oh, I have multiple things to do, but I want to know about this. Okay, cool. Um, I've got a few coins for incidentals. The pen is mightier than the sword. Oh shit! This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. Thank goodness I brought my trusty horse armor. Hey, what do you think of this? What do you think, what do you think of this? What do you mean I can't use it with anything? 
You want it? Check it. Check it out. <laughs> it sure is useless. Um. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. Guaranteed. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is it little does have demand some for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Whoa, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. Uh. How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Mm hmm. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be. But dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. An oral badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Oral badgerous. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Skybrush Threepwood. Badger's in the chat like, oh god. I don't suppose you sell mops. I cannot guide you on matters of mops. The true master is the cook at the scumba. Of course! Of course. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers. Only questions that are finished. Okay. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. <laughs> is that foreshadowing for the secret of Monkey Island itself? <laughs> that the mystery's more exciting than the answer? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Will I succeed? Achievement uh, depends mostly on the definition of success. Okay. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Well, okay. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Other cheeky no. achievements? Probably. Never mind. I never do. <laughs> I've always been impressed by your chair. Thank you. It is a good chair. What's cooking? The feast of knowledge. Mmm. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There is always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now, but I believe mm. I could restore its abilities. Hmm. An empty basket. Yeah, Should have like, gotten here last month. Pops a little squat when he looks in there. An empty basket. That's cute. Too bad it's empty. Frog! What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. I'll it's take like it. a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. If I was given an apology frog, I would be like, wow, this is much more thoughtful than a card. I'll take this forgiveness frog. Yes. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. 
Something tells you we might need that for Carla. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Am I excited about Portal RTX? Well, I... I guess I do technically have a 2080. So I probably could do ray tracing, but... I don't know how well it would run. I don't know. Looking at that trailer for the Portal ray tracing, I'm like, yeah, it looks great, but also... The ray tracing art makes it... Like, okay, for one, I'm a stubborn old man, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but I'm like, part of what makes Portal work so well is how clean the art direction is. And yeah, in Portal 2, it's a lot messier, but it's still very focused. You can tell exactly what every element of the puzzle is. But when you have, like, really gorgeous reflections that have been shiny and metallic, it just looks like there's a lot more going on that doesn't benefit the focused nature of the game. So I'm like, I don't know if it's the best choice for a ray tracing game. Like, a ray traced Half-Life might make a lot more sense to me because you're much more like moving through environments more quickly and taking out enemies um yeah put wax polish on old stone corridor it's kind of what it looks like to me so it's like it is it looks good in the way that ray tracing tends to look good but it's just like overly shiny and reflective for me but yeah you do gift wrapping well yeah i saw wrapping that paper, yeah. unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard no thanks it says everything must go but it says it with numbers. Mm-hmm. Not very practical. It's a creepy shrunken head with long, stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're How not. was it, Viz? But the tourists like them. Not for me. Looks like it's been there forever. Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Let me have a crystal. Keep up the good work, buddy. He's doing it. Someone's very excited I'm looking at this sign. Mm -hmm. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? Mm. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. Boo! I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Sorry, that made me mad. The curtains are for sale too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. That's fair, Viz. I imagine the early bits of Half-Life in VR compared to the opening of Half-Life Alex, which is designed around being in VR. It's probably a little bit just kind of like, yep, all right. She'd look lovely in curtains. Let's say hi to Wally. Maybe we can give him the forgiveness for a... Hey, Wally. Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wait, Wally. Really? Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy okay. getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and I'm running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Mm. <laughs> I know it's a map shop, but I want a mop. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the and more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. Then You wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Darn. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. Haha, <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. <laughs> Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high stakes, ego driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic yeah, is noticed. fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. 
Mm-hmm. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. He's just, he's just making up symbols. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. Mmm. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. Oh, I'm selling things left and right and making a bindle. You mean a bundle? No. I'm hopping on the next train out of this dump. Ooh, a monocle. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. <laughs> Ooh, a monocle. Not long. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. Babe, wake up. New continent just dropped. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. Woo, looks chilly up there. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. What's this a map of? The secret movements and activities of my competitors. That sounds reasonable. Mm-hmm. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. Looks like a pair of trousers. This map is taller than I am. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. Hmm. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? Spiky map. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, rating, cursed black diamond. Low cost pre-owned. The first rule of piracy is, never buy a used treasure map. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. It's maps all the way down. Slightly suspicious ladder to a window. I didn't even think about that. That is kind of suspicious. Hey, Wally, what's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Okay. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. There's a crackling noise. I believe it's meant to be like... Yeah, on the left side. I think it's meant to be the lamp, but it is It is very crackly. Good old mazes. I know mazes. what you mean. Can't get enough mazes. Mazes. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. The door, the doormat is a map of the store and shows where you are in the store. And he doesn't even comment on it. That's just for you. Fire is very crackly in this game. See if these crossovers cannon. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. That's very good. I didn't notice that. Um. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll wait for the monocle. Hey, Hold Wally. A map, it's map. the pirate life for me. Yep. Hey, Wally. Bye. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Steal it. Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Yoink. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. It's no fun stealing when they're meant to be taken. No. Oh. It makes things look bigger. The voodoo lady said it was a forgiveness frog. The interact is try to remember why I'm carrying a frog. Yeah. Anything, uh... Anything I can use the horse armor on? Okay. I don't feel better about it. Where's the fun in that? High Street. Meanwhile, on Lechuk's ship... It's a LucasArts reference? Lechuk, sir. Hmm. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Mary. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! 
Wait! Let him live! I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Good idea. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Uh, yeah, I, I did previously think that the old voice actor for LeChuck, Earl Bowen, had passed away. He hasn't. He just retired. Which is a very different thing. But yeah, they, they recast him with Jess Harnell, which he's fine. Not quite as bassy as Earl's voice. But, uh, hey, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, Jess Harnell is a prolific voice actor. It's like, it's like dying, a volcano <laughs> island with horns that swallowed a basketball. That sounds like a line from this game, Ryan. Uh, Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. The, the basketball Illuminati is here. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Damn. Old woman. The note says, forced to close. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. The note says, forced okay. to close. The note says... I don't know why there's separate prompts for the old general store and the note, but I guess it's fine. Um, hello. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. I want to see if there's, um, an op... Well, I guess we should save. Oh, my cursor's a screenshot. That's cute. I wonder if there's an option for no because it, it's it feels like i have it in like speakers mode when i'm wearing headphones like things are panned really far in the stereo like she sounded like she was coming really far out of the right ear but she's like barely off the middle of the screen so i don't see an option for that that's fine it's not a big deal it just would sound better coming out of speakers on a tv or something the alley is there still a clown poster is that stan is Stan a clown now? I mean, he got an NFTs. So, I mean, maybe, but... Hmm. It seems to be stuck closed. Yeah, suspicious. Yeah. Stuck. They didn't have to do that. Oh, what's the sign say? Employees only. So... Alright, they're just fucking with us. Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, ah, oh, memories. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Yeah, this place has seen better days. Sheesh. Alright, what's up? Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Is that a hint, or are you crazy? Well... Looks sort of like an eye. I think it's a chandelier. Are these the symbols that, that Wally's been coming up with? There's a locksmith. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's a locksmith. Welcome to my shop. Hello. Hmm. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. Don't show meat hook. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's this key? That's for a lockable quiver. What's that lock? That's for hats. A hat lock? What's that lock? It's meant for bachelors to secure their apartments. What's that lock? A special one that can open with any of four different keys. And please, don't touch the glass. What's this lock? A famous lawyer used that to keep people from stealing his front doormat. What's this lock? That's for sealing a container full of evaporated gas. What's this lock? It's for a small jazz band to lock up their gear. 
What's this lock? A famous lawyer used that to keep him pleased. What's this lock? That's for hats. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks Thank the spot. Blue. It's southern Florida. I have family there. Oh, a map of southern Florida. Kind of sus. What's that key? That one is only for going in, never for coming out. What's this lock? It's for a small jazz band. The lock. What's that key? That one's for making a quick exit from somewhere you're trapped. What's this key? That opens a long straight wardrobe for keeping long straight dresses. What's this key? That activates a mechanical kettle. And please, don't touch the glass. I'm gonna touch it. What's that key? That unlocks your house. Can I have it back? Uh, what's this key? That one's for making a... Okay. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. Hmm. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. Hmm. What is that? It's definitely not a key. Or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Uh, of course. Oh, it's the Florida Keys. The islands off Southern Florida. Oh. Oh. Oh, I hate that they leave you to figure that out. Oh. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. Florida Keys nuts. I see everyone in that portrait. If you have. Mm hmm. I don't know how to make good puns. I don't know how to make puns. I think. I'm Guybrush Good. Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. Uh, You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Yeah. Um. It's really clean in here. Do you have a mop I could use? I simply don't allow filth to accumulate in the first place. Try somewhere a little less sanitary, like the bar by the docks. Nominative determinism to meet your heart out. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. That seems like a terrible system. Yeah. <laughs> it seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Mm-hmm. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. Hmm. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Good thing we got a monocle from Wally, huh? Hmm. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Whitey Seems Bones. to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. Uh, I look back at your vibe when you ask one of the first pirate dudes what the secret is, you replied only LeChuck knows. Is there a reveal in another game they never actually knew or is it just the meh? I think it's just the meh. The local Dampy Dumper. <laughs> the local Dampy Dumper. Um, yeah, I guess now it's implied that, like, LeChuck didn't know. So, it's fine. Maybe he just was like, yeah, I know. I'm LeChuck, I'll beat you up. And then he died. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Mm-hmm. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. The pirate life. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. That seems enormously useful. Maybe. Oh, there's dialogue Depends and curse. Depends on if you can close them again. Where Guybrush gets the chuck that maybe he doesn't know the secret. Oh, I don't remember. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system. And I don't like it disrupted. Uh, check out this horse armor. Damn it. Come on. You're not interested in my horse armor? All right, bye. 
All right, if we find a lock, we need to make sure we use our monocle on it. Hey, a the visitor. prison. <laughs> Wait. Guy brush three food? Ha <laughs> ha! Otis. Howdy, kid. And Stan. Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You it's look true. different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. Great. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic! It's Matt Mercer? You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't Is cruise it? ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm sort of planning Shit. on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway. For old time's sake. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors? Imagine that. What happened to the rat that was locked up in here when you were in that cell? Uh. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. I don't think so. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you got to get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. I will. Um, it's not even on my list. <laughs> um. The rat got out on good behavior. He's not got a wife and two kids. Job at the factory, his boss likes him. Well, that's good. Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp without the clean parts. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. It says that, jail rules. That's it. One, that's it. no escaping. I don't know why I expected more. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. This looks like a job for my horse armor. Did that say, yeah. How's your day going? Thank goodness. You you want you don't want some horse armor? No. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. There you go. This is the number for the jail cell lock. Sweet. Hey Stan. You look like you're having a good time. That's nice. Hey Stan. Hello there, son. Uh. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People. People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. Mm -hmm. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. He's in jail for marketing. Uh, Gonzo, was that for Otis in this game or one of the other games? Sean King. Why does Stan move like that when he talks? Always has been. 
since the first game. That's just how he talks. Um, hmm. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was okay. disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Mm-hmm. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Fair point. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Okay. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's... advice. See you later. Yep. Okay. Um. They say the only real prison is the one in your head. But take it from me, that's a load of barnacles. Maybe I should write down the... thing on his log. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Oh, no busting him out. Most of this serial number has been rubbed off. Glad life is graphic tees. Yeah. You want some horse arm? Shit. Oh, shit. Hey, Stan. Would a set of horse armor do you any good? Oh, it already has. What a fantastic marketing gimmick. Everybody's a sucker for horse armor. Ah, fuck, he got me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got Word of advice, kid. Stick to the narrow straight. <laughs> Shit. Uh. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. Okay. Stan sold me that horse armor. He sure did. I think he was on the store page. When you buy the horse armor. Um. I will say it again because it, I, I will not stop finding it hilarious. But, um. On the Monkey Island website. The Monkey Island website hey, is literally hey, kid. this shot. It's just a static image of the, Well, it's not static, it's animated. Jail is like um, a bad breakfast. Small, greasy, and hard to swallow. Good. Um, and you can talk to Stan, and he sells you on Return to Monkey Island. He's like, it's the new game, and here's all the great new features and stuff. Why show us again? Because I just want to keep playing the game. But if you ask him why he's in jail, he says marketing related crimes, and he said that he didn't sell anyone anything because the things he was selling weren't entirely fungible. Uh, and it's very good, so. He's literally in jail for NFTs. Anyway, we'll keep going. The armor counts as doing something. Well, it's not used for any puzzles or anything, but I guess what its people might comment on it. The back way, or the front way? He sold me an NFT of horse armor. It's not an NFT, but he did sell me some, oh, that's cute. I like that. Not entirely fungible. Let me in. Carla. Oh shit. Oh shit. Guy brush three wood. We have a sword? Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed-up hack. 
Uh, anything but your cooking. When was the last time you had a bath? Let me show you what a hack looks like. It is just a PNG. It is. But it's not on the blockchain, so I'll take it. Anything but your cooking. Ha! <laughs> Low-hanging fruit. But it works. It's nice to see you again. You too. She might be the governor, but she's still got it. You should never have given up being Swordmaster. How's governorship treating you? Hope you're not still sore by the thing with the ship that one time. You've come far since I got you your first cushy government job. Uh, How's the governorship treating you? It's not as straightforward as I'd hoped. For some reason, you can't just tell everyone what to do and assume they'll do it. That's new territory for me. Not for me. Maybe I should be governor. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Uh, Elaine can handle it. She doesn't need me. That is true. I've got my own project cooking. I'm not automatically involved with everything Elaine does just because we're married. Elaine said the program's being hampered by Captain Madison. Eh, Elaine can handle it. She doesn't need me. I don't doubt that. But it isn't about what she does or doesn't need. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Unfinished business from the old days. What are you doing here? She's the governor in the governor's mansion. Elaine says Captain Madison's hurting her scurvy project. Nah, nah. Yeah, we have unfinished business from the old days. You're darn right we do. I'm still waiting for my book back. Oh, that's not even something I remember, but okay. Did we get a book from her? <laughs> uh... I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. Mm -hmm. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not oh. the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. <laughs> well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. Yeah. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Well, that was fun. Oh, what? The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable, story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Note to the reader no disguised secrets are revealed in this book. Damn it. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. Uh... I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. I think like a dairy farmer. Elaine in Ace Attorney game. <laughs> Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Hmm. Ingredients by Barbie LaFlay. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Ship to ship combat strategies by Captain Madison. By stupid Captain Madison. It's thicker than I would have imagined. Voodoo tricks you can do at home. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. Okay. Endless tale of the voyage that would not end. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. Stop. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> the game's calling Madison thick. Nice. Poke it. Yeah! Poke it. Yeah! Poke it. Poke it. Poke it. Poke it. Portrait of the governor. Ugh. Looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Is she fighting the guy who was painting the portrait? Is that what it's depicting? Yeah, there's like a paintbrush flying. Well, that's fun. Edgy. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I like your stuff... I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. 
It's a lot of work being governor. A whole cork board of stuff. Hey, Witchkin. Some details. That's impressive. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy. Yeah, I right. uh, appreciate it, Witchkin. Glad you liked it. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. I better stay out of there. A newer, older portrait, newer portrait. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly I'm stay out of Elaine told me that his overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. Hmm. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. There he is. All right. Lovely seeing you, Governor. Goodbye. Go on the back. Where's the sheriff locked up? Shine top? Oh, look at that. Melee Hmm. Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. To the deep dark forest where I'm sure to get lost. Oh no. Oh no. Frog? Purple flowers. Purple flowers? These must be lavender. Or monkshood. Or cyclamen. A classic specimen of Alata needleus. A carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny sharp teeth. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Let me out. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get lost in there. Um, Museum of Pirate Lore? Museum of Pirate Lore. Wait, was this Carla's old house? Looks like it. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. Hmm. Yeah. Once upon a time, I won a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Going to her house. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum okay, of Lucia. Pirate Thank Lore. You. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore, and if you have any questions, just ask. Thank you. Um, the I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow, I are you named after to. Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent, super retro. If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, that's the picture of Kate Capsize that we stole and put together. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. I don't suppose you have a mop from a famous pirate swabby on display? I've been trying to get the cook down at the scum bar to donate his, but he won't part with it. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. Mm hmm. I see so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. I'll have a look around. Please do. Mm-hmm. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. Nice. Yeah, every single NPC is like, get a mop from the cook. It's fine. 
Is this a Get back left there. hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Meat hook. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. Where's he now? Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. That's a nice ore. The one with the coffin, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town, but I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks, I've got it under control. Stop trying to help. Uh... What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous Peg Leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. Ever been to a Turkish prison? That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. Can I donate my horse armor to the museum? I, I can. I actually can. <laughs> Shit. You know what every good pirate museum needs? A set of horse armor. I'll get back to you. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> it's worth a shot. <laughs> What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. <laughs> Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Spoiler that island alert. at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. Why did it flash spoiler alert at the bottom? Are we going back to Fat Island or maybe meeting up with Kate again? Okay. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's oh. a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you okay. are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. Mm -hmm. you're, you're right. It, it's a spoiler alert for the past games. Like if you were gonna play this and go, oh, you know what, I wish I should play the old ones. You would already know some puzzle solutions from these. I get it now. That's... For me, spoiler alert makes it sound like it's spoiling stuff from this game, but I think you're right. Getting gassed by a museum curator. Yeah. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. I need it. There's some very tiny writing on it. Mm-hmm. The display case is locked. Darn. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney. The Pirate of a Thousand Faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on, though, and nothing happened. Well, that bodes well. Let me take a look. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. It's still too tiny? How do I get tinier than that? Pirate Times. Editor, Conrad Lee. Ready to publish your unrecognized genius. Hmm... That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. All right. That's the note LeChuck left when he kidnapped Elaine, in all caps. How on earth do you have that note? Oh yeah, that's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. 
The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. Um, he's he's wearing the, the shirt from the first game, right? It says Melee on it. It says that the I defeated the Swordmaster of Melee Island shirt. And the green one was the treasure. Oh shit. Storeroom. Anyway. Parrot food. It's cracker mix. Some assembly required. Sweet. Well. Somebody has a shirt you can buy online. Oh, I'm sure. At least unofficially, if not officially. Well, good day. I appreciate that they made it, so I will be looking forward to stealing from this guy. Especially fortified for the healthy parrot diet. You want some crackers? It doesn't seem interested. No. Oh. Then here's my shopkeeps. It's fine. Eat that peg leg. Then again, so does your guy brush. Yeah, a bit. This is cute, this little... Meat Hook's museum is gone. So is the cable to his island. And it's just as well, given the worldwide rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shortage. No, uh, supply chain. Okay, that's cute. I was like, there's nothing here, but he had a little dialogue for it. Um, forest, museum, lookout, high street, the Chuck ship, low street, shipyard. What about over here? This is where, um, what's-his-face was. I remember when this place used to be wall-to-wall -wall with sword training gyms. Now there's nothing but trees. Progress. Captain, what's his face? Wow. Tans. It's worse than I imagined. It says, Tans previously owned vessels. So sad. Stans used to be the best place to buy used chips. I miss Meat Hook. I hope he's well. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. I gotta get his toothbrush. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? Oh shit, it's still there. It's like a job for my... Thank goodness I brought my trusty horse arm. Damn it. I really appreciate that they give you a little circle with a line through it to be like, you can't use it here. Just for anything. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. Mm-hmm. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Yoink. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Bucket? Stan used this to clean his ships. Let me have the rust bucket. There was a time when... Hmm. Oh, the moon. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. It's true. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. You take the moon, and you take the moon. Oh, oh, just that. Uh, well, how, how, how's a guy supposed to get in there? Squeeze the sponge. It's good for relieving stress. Oh, that's good. Um, jam that in there. Is that the only thing I know about chowder? It's the only thing I need to know about chowder. Got a whole bunch of stuff going on. This is also very nice. Just a little reference, especially if we take a break and come back. Um. So what should we do? Hi again. Oh, those new pirate leaders are real jerks. They laughed at me, and they won't fund my expedition. Why didn't you warn me? Would you have listened? Of course. Okay, no, probably not. Nope. I'm thinking about going on LeChuck's expedition after all. I'm glad to hear you decided to patch things up. Nah, he doesn't want me on the ship. I'm blacklisted. I'm gonna have to go in disguise. These Shakespearean comedies just write themselves. <laughs> See anything interesting out there? Change. The future. Are those the names of ships? All I can see is open water. It's what I named my cataracts. Huh. 
Hmm, you've been at this post a long time. Yep, uh, my eyesight isn't what it once was, but my hearing is still as sharp as the governor's sword. Yeah, it's and Trump that's Bolton. helpful for being a lookout? Yeah, there's hardly ever anything to see anyway. The job is mostly about greeting people. Welcome to Melee Island. Thanks. Ever think about retiring? Sure, sounds great. I'll get a little place where I can sit by the fire and watch the ocean. Say... You'll have to excuse me, I think I see something on the horizon. Yeah. Zoom. Uh, back to Low Street. We need a map. Hey, Wally. I'm looking for a map through the forest. What are you trying to find in the forest? I don't know. Nothing in particular. Then having a map won't really be any different than wandering around lost, will it? Yeah, but, I mean, well, never mind. Melee clock is still broken. Yep. Well, maybe we should go get a goddamn map. All right. Oh, shit. He's back. Wait, hold on. First, I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> It'll turn out to be a t-shirt or something. I wouldn't even be surprised. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Don't sound much like pirating to me. Uh, don't look now, but I think there's a leech on your chin. Buzz off. Let's ask him about Loom. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical <laughs> landmark. <laughs> I don't know why that got me so bad. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, the place does seem uh. different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate right. leaders. Oh, they're a highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog sure before getting there. married. <laughs> These kids today are all about Thanks. sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. Uh-huh. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Yeah, it does sound like Matt Mercer. Everyone in this game is voiced by Matt Mercer. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog-riddled body has fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Yeah! Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Ooh. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. I just got an achievement that's called fan service. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Great. Hey, there sure is a book there. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. Hmm. The back of the scum bar is a kitchen. Oh. Okay. What is that? There's 10 pages of these? Have fun. Oh my god. Alright. Um. Sup. <laughs> Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? You got a side training badge. It's a collectible. They don't have to do anything. Uh, I'm doing peachy. Peachy? 
How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. She's good, no pieces missing, in public service fighting scurvy. I screwed up her anniversary for a part more often than I'd like. She's here on the island. If you answer a question wrong, it's gone forever. Oh no. That feels bad. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I screwed up our anniversary. Forgot the date. Remember the date? Forgot an important allergy. She's fully recovered. Well, tell her I say hello. Yes, yeah, save first. It's not gone forever. They respawn, don't worry. Oh. Why would you tell me it's gone forever, Afrasabi? Stressing me out. Uh, give me a mop. Also, I'm glad this is still like a weird line face Pillsbury Doughboy. That's nice. They respawn after a while, the cards are not gone forever. Thank you. Do you know where I can buy a That's mop? That's good to know. Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. Because it's the fun. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. What is this? The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree, a tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve Fuck your this. handle from a limb of that tree. <laughs> Fuck this. God. Any questions? This is the worst quest ever. <laughs> How do I find the mop handle tree? <laughs> I can't tell you exactly where it is uh, because this is your own personal journey. Uh, what kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. This is the process of making a lightsaber in the Kodor games? Shit. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Great. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for Go example. To Ilum. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. I need to. Uh, I need to obtain a kyber crystal. Okay. For Guess my I'll mop. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. It seemed crazy to me at the time too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. <laughs> Enjoy your time at Arsonist Frogs. Oh, 07. Admire the mop or surreptitiously abscond with the mop? There's no way I could. There's no way I could. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm saving. Stay away from my mop. Okay. Listen, if there's an option to skip the quest, I don't want to do it. Well, it's definitely a mop. I would lose my mind if this is what I get for picking the the full monkey mode. Like, if you go in easy mode, they're just like, here's a mop, enjoy. And if you pick hard mode, they're like, you must go on a quest to find the ancient mop tree and craft your own mop by hand. <laughs> you must, this is your punishment for saying you want puzzles. Maggots. Active little guys, aren't they? They're really going. Looks like a mugshot. Nice. Well, it's definitely a mop. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. Mmm. The food is more exciting mm -hmm. when you can smell the risk. That's totally fine, Afrasabi. Appreciate it. Um. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. And you have a packet of stick-on stars. Yeah, the, the, there's stars going off the, yep, doing great. Pests or garnishes? A good cook sources local supplies when he can. Pleasantly scorching hot. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. Mmm. Old stench. Open the door. Pleasantly scorching hot. 
Um, the atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. Mm-hmm. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Not the Frankly, soup. I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Okay. Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm going to steal the Chucks. Bold, I like your thinking. Yeah, of all the characters from the first game to come back and be friendly to Guybrush, I would not have been expecting the chef, who you have to run into the kitchen and fuck with this stuff while he's not around, and is otherwise quite hostile to you. And here he is being like, oh man, that's great. Good luck on your quest, buddy. <laughs> it's like, what? Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, <laughs> that's definitely not legal. Sunday brunch. <laughs> no, 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 no. It says Sunday runch. Clearly. That's a misunderstanding if you think it says something other than Sunday runch. That's fine. That's good. All right. <laughs> uh, keep up the good work. Thanks. We'll the do. The brunch, the. Is this plank still out? Nope. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Uh-huh. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. I can always use some string. Okay. I guess, yeah, he fixed it. Good for him. Eh, that's cute. The pants clatter. Can you close the door? Uh, I think we looked at everything. Wait! I missed the trivia card. <laughs> All right, let's do some more trivia. The crate in the hold has what on the front? Skull, cross, pirate flag, or swords? I don't think we've been to the hold yet. Right? I use interaction with everything. I'm gonna use that string with everything. Toss this in the fire. Well, nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. I sure did get rid of that string, and it's gone. Did I need that string to solve a puzzle? <laughs> did I save? Reload that save. I mean, I'm assuming that they can't make me stop lock. I'm sure it's fine, but... We had an autosave. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no. Shit. I did choose full monkey. I shouldn't assume anything. Where's my string? There it is. I think someone tried to secure a boat. The no, plaque says, in memory of the pirate seagulls way. of old. Tis the pirate way of old. All right, we got the thing. All right, we're good. Run saved. I can toss that in the fire. I'm gonna save again. How come escape doesn't open this menu? Whatever. Um, save. Horse armor. Throw everything in there. We'll burn that bridge. Burn everything. Yeah, I'm assuming. So that's kind of cute. That, um, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to my shit. If there's something that doesn't have any uses, you can just burn it. <laughs> and be like, I don't want it cluttering my inventory anymore. Which is fun. 
Are you sure I can't persuade you? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? Uh, I completed the three trials to feed the ghost of the pirate Chuck. I solve a lot of puzzles with my wit. I have a great sense of humor, like long walks on the beach. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. I completed the three trials. Trials? It's how they used to make their bones in the old days. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I am a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Well, fine. There's a man hanging out of that window back there, which is good. Um, anybody Yarr. want any horse armor? Cobb? Anybody? Yeah, Edward Teach. Oh, Blackbeard. Well, um... Yeah, you can always... No, 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 no. I wonder if we can get a map into the woods now that we know we're looking for a mopwood tree. In the dumbest quest I've done in a game in a very long time. Hey, Wally. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. Good. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. So I have to steal some wood from his mop? Tell me again what you need to make- Just bring me a sliver of- Okay. Bye. Uh, I'm sure this is gonna be fine. Thank God we can run. Yeah. We're zooming. Alright. Wait, wha what? Sir? Very clean looking pirate. Fancy. Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Oh, you want us to use yeah, the oven? Not... It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not the your hot food. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I Chef. don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. You need to steal a silver of wood from a mop to get a map to find the tree to make a mop to get on the ship to mutiny the crew to sail a monkey on to find the secret of monkey on. Yar. Well, you're forgetting the part where I need to steal an eye patch to disguise myself so they don't know who I am as well. So. Um, oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called, or know what's in it, or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has... ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. Um. Where did he say he had the dish he wants you to make? At the governor's mansion. It's probably some exotic, weird-tasting thing from a swanky cookbook. Just some soup. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Mm-hmm. Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads, but I can't think about that right now. Needs three monkey heads. Can I ask you again about the mop I need to make? Sure. How about the new governor? Sure have. Remind me how oh, to... Oops. I can't tell... Um... What kind of... I didn't. Hmm... Okay. Thanks. Well, it's definitely a mop. How could I obtain a piece of this mop? Stay away from my mop! Hmm. Well, maybe we need to do this food quest for him first. What's that you're drinking? Large. Get. Lost. Bucket of large. Nice hat, man. It's the emblem of a secret society I belong to. W really? Don't be ridiculous. Hmm. 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 
I think there's actually something to that. Because I think Lil Elaine had the same fish lure on her. And we saw it in the locksmith shop. I think there might be something there. You need to apologize to Carly, get a book to distract the chef, to steal a sliver of wood from a mop, to get a map to find the tree to make a mop, while feeding a parrot, to steal an eye patch to recharge its magic, to disguise yourself, to get on a ship, to mutiny the crew, to sail to the seas, to find the secret monkey on. There you go. In case anyone was wondering what we were up to. <laughs> there's your... You're caught up now. Um... Oh, oh, give me that. Nice. Production for Monkey Island 2 happened at Lucasfilm North ILM, a building Skywalker Ranch. I mean, I'm assuming Lucasfilm North or a building, not ILM, and I highly doubt it was at Skywalker Ranch. A building? Do you think it's just a building? Technically correct. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Welcome back. Like, it was at Lucas Hi. Arts, but maybe the building was called Lucasfilm North. I was like, I don't know, man. Shit. Um, hey, you want some crackers? It doesn't seem interested. Great. You want some horse armor? Fine. How about... A serial number. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Ooh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Great. Hello again. Yeah. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. You got it. Goodbye. I like that they're like, here's all the old locations. Like, some of them are like, well, the store's closed, and the church is closed, but then, presumably, there was a building here the whole time, you just can never go into it. It's like, a nice hey, mix Guy of Roche. both. Hey, kid! Sup? This is awesome! Now I can open one of the jail cells! Check this out, Otis! Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case, and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities, and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquainted. There's a keyblade. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. Time to go into the prison. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. Okay. Darn it. I've been trying to inventory the spiders, but they keep eating each other, and I have to start over. <laughs> I don't remember this place being so <laughs> Good leaky. luck with that, Stan. <laughs> Uh, no, the, the, it's a different key for, for Stance Lock. Um, there's a keyblade in that presumably open window. Where? Where? He does sound kind of Zap brannigan ish The locksmith's window? Above the lock- oh, that's just the normal key! Just the normal key. Um, so, the church is farther back. I think it was around there. Um, let's tell the voyage, voodoo tricks, ship to combat, ingredients! Ingredients! It had ingredients in it! Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. Maybe I should apologize. Is this what I need the apology frog for? Is it frog time? Barbie LaFlay. Um. Well, I've come for a recipe. A dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? I do host plenty of functions. But I'm afraid I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Damn it. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Yeah. Governor stuff. Ingredients is a Kingdom Hearts reference. Can I borrow a book? You never She's a librarian. The last book She's you the borrowed. governor. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need yeah. more than that. Alright. Time for the old apology frog. Oldest trick in the book. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog. 
for when words aren't enough. You haven't even bothered to write anything personal on this frog. That's just rude. I reject your frog. I Okay, let's write something on the frog. Pen an apology on the frog. Dear Elaine, dear Wally, dear Carla, to whom we may concern. Dear Carla. Dear Carla. Sorry for blowing you up that one time. Sorry for forgetting your birthday. Sorry for forgetting our anniversary. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I realize you were tough on toughness. You are. I admire that you are hard on softness. I value your dedicated dedication. I appreciate that you are keen on bluntness. Could we give this frog to Elaine? I don't know where she is, but we could maybe get it to give it to Wally too. Uh, why an empty fr You know what? In hindsight, it makes perfect sense. I admire that you are hard on softness. As shown by your actions at Santo Domingo, Santa Catalina, Port Elizabeth, Porto Bello. As shown by your actions at Porto Bello, please accept my humblest apology. Even though it wasn't really my fault. I promise to do better in the future. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. You scared the heck out of me. You scared the heck out of me. Santa Catalina was on the statue? Oh. Shit. I was like, I don't remember. Hmm. Even though it wasn't really my fault. There you go. Classic apology. Back out at the last second. Here you go. This is for you. Dear Carla. <laughs> Not really your fault? This isn't an apology. It's an excuse. I reject your frog. <laughs> I so deserve that. I so, all right. Scrap my last apology. To whom it may concern. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. With fear and respect, Guybrush. I reject your frog. All right, check this out. This is for you. This frog isn't even addressed <laughs> to me. I don't know what you think you're doing. I reject your frog. God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. I just gotta get, I gotta write one for Elaine real quick. Hold on. Dear Elaine. Uh. Sorry for forgetting our anniversary. Warmly, Guybrush. I forgot our anniversary and I'm not writing love, I'm writing warmly. There you this go. is for you. Kind of want to give a frog. This to frog Wally. isn't even addressed to me. I don't know what you think you're doing. I reject your frog. Okay, I want to. I want to drop off a frog to Wally real quick. Hey, there's a thing. Grab that. What we got? I like that it opens up to the page. How many skeletons are in the water on the Terror Island beach? Is that a new island in this game, or is there a? Terra Island in an earlier game. One, two, eight, four. Can't start later. All right. Wait for now. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna save, and we're gonna we're gonna go apologize to Wally. And then we'll come back. It's not from the old games. Okay. Yes. The answer is yes. Skeletons. Hello, Wally. Dear Wally, a giveaway? Oh shit. Hey, chat, do one of you want a random copy of, well, copy's not random. Do, does a random viewer want, hashtag I reject your frog to enter into a giveaway for a copy of this game on Steam, courtesy of Devolver Digital. If you enter the giveaway, make sure you have your Twitch whispers open and not locked because uh, game will be reaching out to you via whisper to confirm your receipt, your receipt, your receipt of the code um, before we announce it to the rest of the chat. So, best of luck for the rest of you. You can buy this game. It's on Steam and on the Switch. A point-click adventure on the Switch. You probably should use like the cursor. Maybe there's a way to like tab between everything. I don't know. I wonder. Um, uh, Sorry for blowing you up that one time. That did happen. Remember Monkey Island Two when we lit the torch in the room with TNT. Precipitation. Love, Guybrush. Frogant. We love Wally. Um, here's an apology, Frog. Nothing says I'm sorry like a dried up old frog. 
No worries. I've moved beyond you blinding, burning, blowing up, and marooning me all those years ago. Good to know. He doesn't need one. He's made his peace. This is why Wally's a good guy. Alright, well, anyway. Good for him. But I still feel good about apologizing. We didn't apologize for stealing his monocle, though. Anyway. Let's finally apologize. For real. And then we hit our own rocket suffering energy. injury. Yeah, we don't even really know how he got out. He just blew up. It's fine. Um, Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. Uh, I appreciate that you're keen on bluntness. Uh, As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I promise to do better in the future. Well, there you go. That's that's a pretty good apology. This is for you. Did we admit to Dear him? Carla. Mm -hmm. Forget exactly how it goes down in curse. This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. <laughs> One thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. My frog has been rejected. One thing. I've always thought this looked like my old ship. Ugh, looks like car. Edgy. Hmm. Hmm. It's a lot of work being governor. You missed her motto? What's her motto? What's her motto? Hey, this <laughs> the frog's just covered in <laughs> scribbles all over it. Dear Carla. Um. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. Uh. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. There you go. Is this is this going to be this rejected? Is for you. Dear Carla, <laughs> This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. Damn it. I reject your frog. No. Damn it. No, the frog's fine. Don't reject my frog. Dear Carla. I am just brute forcing it now. Sorry for... Um. I realize that you are tough on toughness. Give away a close when I get the frog right. Okay, so enter the... As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. Uh... You scare the heck out of me. That's true. Check out this... This is for you. Apology, frog. Dear Carla... I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly so thoughtful. Considering it's you, right. I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book, and I'll treasure this frog Where would I have learned as that? a memento of the time you did something right. It's on her post on the docks. Oh, right. Okay. Well, we can get the ingredients book. Can I borrow this cookbook? Uh, All right, drawing it. Keep an eye on your whispers on you Twitch. You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Definitely. Probably. Possibly. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Yeah, all right. Zoom. She's definitely not getting the book back. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, did I, did I go? Oh, that's the island's interior. Right. I did. Um, we need that for the, the here. Oh, that's fine. Oh, sure. Yeah, I know. I knew I was picking something up. Flowers by the bench are pink, yellow, red, purple. What bench? There's a bench. Okay. Hey, watch it. <laughs> Good. Um, I accept this frog. Oh, guttural tent. You got a copy for Turn to Monkey Island, and you're accepting the frog. Hey. Sweet. The bench you're telling the story to your kid on. Oh, shit. I don't know. 
Hey, congrats, Scott Earl Penn. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Devolver, for letting me give away the code that was meant for me. Uh, untangle the string. It's hopeless. Oh, good. Check this out. I found this at the governor's mansion. Can I burn the book? Uh -huh. The Maybe. mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. It's Carla's copy of Ingredients by Barbie LaFlay. Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. I'm still using it. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's filled with nasty looking water. Uh. It's the cook's old mop. I. Am I just supposed to. Just bring the mop. To Wally? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Keep your hands off my mop! <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Mop heist. Well, how do I get just a... Just a piece of the mop? This is awesome. Now I can open one of the jail cells. I guess I can try to get Stan out. That'll work. Uh... Uh... Yeah. Huh. I didn't mean to. This will be excellent. Brilliant innovation. Hmm. I don't see how I can get just a piece of it. Yeah, it's filled with nasty looking water. Okay, well, that's a that's progress. There was a knife of the house of mojo. Let's see if that's accessible now. Don't have it yet. Gotcha. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's tough on toughness. There you go. All right. Touche. Can I have this knife? Okay. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. The product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Great. I got a knife. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. They said no whittling, but I'm gonna try using it for whittling. Whee! Beep, 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 beep. never complain again. Beep, beep. Sup? Yeah, it's filled with nasty looking water. All right. I carved it off the cook's mop handle. Good times. Sweet. Now stab him. Get him. 
Throw it in the fire. Throw this knife in the fire. And throw the sponge in there. No. Illegal whittling. Um, Tawali. Unlight. Did we have a license for that whittling? Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Ten minutes later. Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. That was easy. Um. Okay. From there, go east, north, east, north, west. W. Something like that. Ah, let's go. Boop, 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 hey, boop. kid! You must head west. No thanks. I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. Yeah, right. worth a shot. Boop, 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 boop. To the forest. All right. Yeah, all right. Okay. Provide you. Okay. East. Go that way. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Sweet. Uh, north. Oh, it even shows you where the plants are and stuff. Hey, there you go. Scurvy Island is famous for Bella's fishing spot, nightlife, scurvy outbreak, limes. If Scurvy Island is famous for limes, that's gonna be something. Um, so now I'm at this one, right? East again, and then north. I guess I lost my way. I didn't do it. I missed a step. East, north, east. Right? I, I guess I lost my way. What am I misinterpreting? Took me a few times. Look at it closer. East, north. Is it... Yeah, look at the flower. I guess the flowers are more important. But then how do I know which direction to go? Oh, just every time it's in that arrangement? Is that... What? So when there's just one carnivorous plant on the right, and no purple... But we have purple on the left and carnivorous on the right. Yeah, come on. Why is it... So that means go north, but I can't go north. There's no north from here. Huh? I have no idea. We have a purple flower and a carnivorous plant. Which makes it seem like this spot, but I guess it... Plant words. Am I facing north? Good question. Tis a puzzle. What happens if I go east? Oh. Okay. Well, now it's purple carnivorous shroom. Which is nothing. Cool. I guess I lost my way. Yeah. I'm just... Hold on. See what's this way. I guess I lost nothing. my way. And if I go this way and then back. So there's nothing that way. M for map. Oh, thank you. That helps. So I have to go right. I get it. Are the trees part of it too? No, those are the same trees everywhere. I guess we go right. I just. I guess. I guess this is carnivorous plant on the right, and that's carnivorous plant on the top. But it's not extremely clear, but carnivorous left and then purple's on the right, so that means go to the right, I think. But now I'm just back here again. What am I not getting? Do I have to just go... Oh, if it's neither, do I go to the option that's not there? So go to mushroom, because neither is there, and now it's... Carnivorous and purple. The top and middle. I think that's how you're breathing. Lose your way, Professor. So... Go back. 
Carnivorous left and purple's on the right, so go to the right. This isn't... I think I'm going backwards. It's gonna be too much. This is the opening of the... I'm... Confused. Yeah, I'm just going back and forth. I guess I lost my way. Hold on. Hold on. Go back to there. Go back to there. And go right. I guess I lost my way. So that's just not the right... That's a dead end. Follow the plant, not the direction. I'm not trying to brute force, but I am trying to figure out where, why, where and why. Oh, it's not north or east or anything. It's literally just follow the plants. It's literally just follow the plants, huh? So follow the... And then... Uh, go to the... I'm from green plant to purple plant. And then from mushroom to purple? But I'm very much not. I, I turned around. I'm back at the start. I thought I got it. I thought I had it. I guess I lost my way. Is that not it? Go, go carnivorous plant. I just went backwards. I know. And then from purple to green. Okay. Then from green to purple, which is there. And then from mushroom to purple. Wait, that is right. I did something. And then from mushroom to purple again. So I did, I did get, okay. Hello. I did something wrong that last time. Well, okay, we did it. Look at all the animals. Mind your mama, little prickly kids. Well, family hedgehogs. Hey, little fella. Th this is the fabled mop tree. It's like there's a welcoming committee. All the critters of the forest. It has mop handles for branches. Sure does. Well. Wow. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Okay. Grab me a branch. Several hours later. Guy brush? Guy brush? <laughs> I carved it myself. You sure did. Hey, little dear. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. <laughs> They're all crying. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's probably time for them to fly south. Yep. Go work. Go work, guy brush. Great. Time to I'll leave. I'll take a shortcut back. Yep. Many hours later. And we're out. Great. Good! That went great! Okay. Now I need some- wait, can I just use some- I made him up. Oh. <laughs> wait, so if I- oh, could I have used like the sponge or just like any number it's of different things? It's a perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. Great. Okay. Because the mop handles what matters, the- The, uh... The tail end doesn't matter as much. Sup? Busy? Yup. Busy? Yup. Check this out. Look at my new mop. I made it myself. That's a fantastic mop. Absorbent, expertly carved handle. It should last you a lifetime of fine mopping. 
use the shrunken head for your mob? Seems like a lot, but okay. Didn't even know you could grab the shrunken head. Ingredients hey, indeed. Hey, I a whole forest is a branch, right? Right. You want some crackers? Would you make crackers if I gave you some cracker mix? That stuff is strictly for home and office use. We pros don't touch it. Three teaspoons in a teaspoon. It is cracker mix, not crackers. Well, I feel silly now. Um, you want some horse armor? No wonder the parrots weren't interested. Okay. Do I really? Um, I just assumed T would hit to do. Great. He recognizes me. Great, great. Um, yeah, I need, so I need to... I need some way of increasing the magnification of the lock at the museum. Hmm. Oh, horse armor mop. Oh, so you can. I'll take this disgusting shrunken head. That's my last one. Quite the bargain. Why didn't I have the option for this before? Oh. Neat. It's a creepy shrunken head with long, stringy hair. That would probably make for a better mop than some random string I found, but yeah, you know. Uh, Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of you a thousand them once. faces. Oh, it was okay. said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. Mm -hmm. That legend is true. But only need because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. Mm -hmm. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. I like her boots. Uh... Got any other mystical advice or information for me? No. Great. Check out this horse armor. Ah, oh, damn. Bum ba boo 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 doo 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 doo. Well, yeah, that 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 that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Property foreclosed by order of yeah. Madison Enterprises. Shame I can't go through these doors and pop out the other side anymore. So what else can I do? I need some kind of an object with which to increase magnification. She's a nice lady. She's just a mysterious nice lady. You can have one of those. We do need to help out Stan. Maybe that helps us. Do I have some way of there you go. I don't want to wreck my brand new shiny knife. God damn it. What about the, the horse armor? Shit. Or, fuck. I need a way in there. Damn it. Damn it. There's nothing else here. Use my mop to pry it open? That doesn't make any sense. No. Hmm. They took the grog machine. Bastards. Yeah, you can look at the moon. I already did that. Um. Maybe it's time to use the hint book and get a nudge. Oh, that is very cute art. How do I get the serial number on the lock for the lock on the eye patches display case? A special tool. These are this art is very cute. The text is legible the monocle, and you find a way to make the monocle more powerful. Can I use it with something I have? No. Um. Huh. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hiya. Can I? Eh? All silence. Yeah. There's there are websites that um let you that have like a hint style system like that. Voodoo with the monocle? Yes, I could. And I try to ask her. What do you have to say again, Whitey Bones? Things are not what they seem. Okay. Yeah, I could ask Wally about it. Now let's first ask Corina. 
It is kind of great that we just know her name now. Nope. It makes things look bigger. Boop, 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 boop. No. Hey, Wally. It's the pirate life for me. Yep. Hmm. Everything on everything desperation. Well, it's just like, I gotta be missing something from somewhere. You know what, Gam? You know what, Gam? Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. You know, I didn't realize those restocked. If one monocle is good, two is better. Fucking. This was a good idea. They magnify stuff even better since I stuck them together. Great. All right. Well, let's try again. Let me out of here. It's Monkey Island. Always has been. Double monocle. Uh, so that the, it's the museum. Double monocle. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. Great. Great. Okay, back we go. Okay, that definitely feels like in the casual mode. They're just like, you got a monocle, you can read it, you're fine. I would be, once I'm done with the game, I might look up. I'm sure someone will compile a list of differences between the two types of playthroughs. Uh, back to here. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. Hello, hello. This is the one for the museum display case. Bam. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Monkey Island sure. TM. This yeah, will be they for did. A high -end display they case. did remove the trademark. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Thanks. They forgot to renew the trademark. Why did they remove the trademarks from the thing game text? I wonder if Disney was like, you can't make jokes about trademarks. <laughs> you know? That is weird. I hope they address it. Oh god, I hope they do. Oh fuck. That'd be excellent. Alright, um. He's not looking. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. That is a really big parrot. Are... That's folded perfectly. Mm hmm. That'll oh, yeah. do, Parrot. You sure can see his leg. It's just, he's got I'm the I'm gonna knee have to ask you to leave the museum leg. while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome back. Hmm. Please try not to touch anything that seems like you're not supposed to touch it. Hmm. So, I probably need crackers for the parrot. Um, Especially fortified for the healthy parrot diet. But I need to make the crackers. And I can't. It doesn't seem interested. Huh. Hmm. Kill it with the fish. Look everything here. Pry it open. Pry open the supplies. Nope. Voids the warranty. Yep. Distract it with some human flesh. The locksmith has spirit. It also has crackers that I'm not allowed to steal. Maybe there's new dialogue there now. Home and office uses that a clue. That, that read like a joke to Welcome me. Welcome back. Maybe. Hey there. I'd really like some crackers. Hands off. Those are my last crackers. You want some cracker mix? I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Okay. Take some if you want. Don't yeah. if I do. Great. No, then goodbye. Here, I thought I'd need to make them. Because in Monkey on 2, there was the bit where you had to add water to the crackers to make them, but I guess you don't have to do that again. Great. Have some goddamn crackers. Here you go. He munching. Look at him munch. It doesn't fit. What? Oh, wrong key. 
And see you later. Meanwhile, at the mansion... Ho-ho. What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Like Issue he's... a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. Don't know. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? So, the keymaster. Well, they finished up that meeting quick. A key hat. Um. Nice. Classic and subtle, like me, but I don't need to be wearing this right now. Let's give it to Corina. Can you fix this? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected. Magic has long since drained away. Good. Great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If... If... If you bring me one more thing. A particular charm of great power. You couldn't have told me this mm -hmm. earlier? I could have. You must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then, I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right. Let's see what I can do. Is that the toothbrush? Killer. No. How much for the safe? It is not for. S Damn me! I clicked that. Um. Maybe I gotta ask around. Hey, Wally. So the lookout is still kicking. Yep. Tattoo. Hmm. Gotta think about it. Uh. Hey, kid. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Hmm. I've been to the shipyard. Your office is all boarded up, with your toothbrush sealed inside, presumably. Well, don't worry yourself about it then, son. I found a dead centipede in the corner that should do until they let me out. Okay. See you later. Yep. What about his arms? That's just Stan doing what Stan does. Welcome back. Hello. Hello again. Uh, Can I get another key made? Sure. Just write down the serial number and give it to me. Mm. You gotta have the jank arm movements. That's the most important thing. Hello. I don't really have anything to say. Practices. All right. Uh, maybe treasure maps. I'm over Germany. Can I borrow this book? One book at a time. Damn it! I only trust you so far. No. Right. Right. Hmm. 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 Trying to not rely on the hint book too much, but I'm probably gonna need a nudge. I can say. You'll have to excuse me. Fine. Maybe back at the scum bar. I figure someone somewhere would be. Oh, posters changed. Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. I'll uh keep an eye out for them. Yeah, you know it's. It's a shame what happens. There's a rat looking at the sea. Uh, do, 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 do. Could, could be anybody. Nice hat pin. 
beats its creep. What's that you're drinking? Large. Get. Uh, don't look now, Buzz. Uh, don't buzz. Hi, Cobb. You again. I know you. Hello. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Large, get. Get. Waiter, I can't understand why this is taking so long. Just bring me what the governor served me last week. Of course, sir. Sorry for the delay. And then I walked back into the scum bar, and then I walked back to the governor's mansion, I looked at a wall, I went to the dock. <laughs> Just everything. Yep. Uh, no. Busy? Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Damn it. I don't want to rely on this too much. Collect a sample from a carnivorous plant in the forest. Oh. Okay, that's not so much of a hint. That's just here's what the answer is But okay, I feel like a hint should have just been like it's a plant, you know Not just whatever fine um, Remember what he called it? Yeah, a lot of white kiss or whatever A classic specimen of a lot of a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful yeah. coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny gotcha, you pointy little tricky fight. Got it. This is a plant with a bad attitude, and enough pokey parts to back it up. Subtlety being the better part of valor or whatever. Uh, back to low street. And back into here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's jiggling. There you go. Hey, Ryuk. Thank you. There you go. I'll get copper alerts Bites in a little bit. Needles. Tell me, is this an ancient, powerful charm, or simply a plant you found in the forest? You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thanks. Sure have been. Oh. Come, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Ah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. Great. Thanks. All right. Our work here is done. The perfect disguise. You better start believing in ghost stories, Elaine Marley. Let's save. Um. I, th I think we're good. It'll be my ship soon enough. At least it's reversible. Optional puzzles. What about them? What else are we still doing? Whoa. Yeah, it's wiggling. I should move farther away from the quartermaster so she doesn't see me. Yeah, fair point. What else have we not done? Um. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of good. Join the crew, seize the ship, find a secret. You can take the stuffed animal. I don't think so. Oh, nice, Maxi. Good. Um, let me get caught real quick. Do, 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 do. I did read all those and those. Thank you. Uh, code name two fifty six. Thanks for nine months. Enjoy your Ruby key. 
Hey, hey, Twitch baby. Via with a dollar, I do. Won't watch this as, uh, uh, as, don't watch this as I don't want to get spoiled. I hope you enjoy it when you get to it. Ev Bay, thanks for our bits. Uh, marginal profit, 20 months. 20 months with a great streamer who would totally never destroy a rare animal slash plant and adventure video game. I really admire you for that quality. I do my best, thank you. And Ryuk, thanks again for 25 months, thank you. All right. A red herring, red centipede. Yeah. Or maybe we come back to Melee Island later. No. Let's do it. She can't see us from here, right? I'll wait until I'm closer to Lechuk's ship. Oh. No need to scare the Melee town folk. Okay, well then maybe we hide back here. Ho ho! The quartermaster will never see me behind this crate. There you go. Hoo hoo! Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B Y O M. So, show me a decent mop, and the job's yours. Okay. Zom brush, creep wood. Uh, there you go. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick, tangle of boat line. <sighs> Smells like seagull droppings. Eh, good enough. You're high. Sweet. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm assuming I'm that. i to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Meanwhile, the scum bar. I'm assuming that dialogue changes depending on what you use for the the brush of the mop. The Reapwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. <laughs> He's so happy. I'm happy for him. <laughs> it's all right through it. Yep. But I'm assuming no one on the ship would be smart enough. Oh ho. Who be that? Part two. A dangerous journey. Maybe that's Fernie. Schools so always once look happy. You were on the Chuck ship. You turned the, the tables. The flowers on are kind of purple. You out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island where you'll all walk the plank. Yeah, probably. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it. You work here. You sleep here. You take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before. This hold is your world. The hull is your ground. The deck is your sky. And I am your deity of choice. A cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? But, no! What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just... Hypothetically, what if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is? I throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. <laughs> Good. Great. Where's my bunk? You might be all right inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. Ghost That's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What's for dinner? Oh. We'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> Sounds good. But seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Hmm, thrifty. Uh, what if I need to, um, you know. Use the porno. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I hate an unsightly ledge. Rat jam jam. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Oh, uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hold sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. 
Uh, One of my trivia questions is here. Oh, yeah, the hole. Thanks, Weezer. life for me. Wait, hold on. We also had, um... Uh, uh, flowers by the bench are purple. Yay. And the crate in the hole does what on the front? It's got an X on it. It's got an X on it, dude. Uh, cross. Sweet. Oh my god. We're like 1% done with our trivia. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. Avoid reading the pamphlet? Okay, fine, take it with me. These are all the same. Just a bunch of rah-rah stuff about ship's company culture. Get on board, a new crew member pamphlet. Copyright LeChuck, all rights reserved. Look at him. Get inspired, follow LeChuck's lead, betray trust, throw tantrums, commit fraud, overstay your welcome, bear false witness, destroy the beloved, destroy the beautiful, threaten bodily harm, commit bodily harm, murder those who get in your way. Condensed from the book, The LeChuck Way. Get to work, don't get fired. The ship is enchanted to be unboardable by anyone but her crew. That includes you. So don't worry about it, unless you get fired, then worry. Why do I feel like that's gonna happen in our very near future? It's also a lovely justification for us to actually do our job. More chickens? Gunpowder? Cannonballs? Golden jewels? Something I can make clever use of? Hmm. 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 <laughs> Murray? Indeed. I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? There he is. No, but I'm a big fan. Ah, my reputation precedes me, like the locusts before the storm. Locusts? But I will sign no autographs. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No problem. He's the spy on the ship. AKA, they just loaded a skull on the crate. Ah, God. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. I kind of miss the clacking noises he would make as he talked, but also those noises were kind of distracting, so I'm fine either way. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. <laughs> oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. <laughs> what exactly is Madison uh, up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. I need a reminder who Murray is. So, Murray shows up in the third game. Um, music is very loud in here. Just hold on. Um, he shows up in the third game. He's just, a, he's just a skull that washes up as part of like a battle with a bunch of skeletons and stuff. And he's like, I'm Murray, the demonic skull. And he just shows up throughout the game. And he's kind of become a recurring character in the series. Cause he's just, he's a skull. And he's just like, I'll bite you. Ah, he's just an angry little skull, so. That's all you need to know. Yeah, he's not in the first two. He's he is a character not from the Ron Gilbert Monkey Island games. That if any character was to come in from the non-Gilbert games, it would have been Murray. So I think we're all happy to see him. He's a good character. He's very fun. Hey, check out my horse armor. No! I want Murray to judge me for my horse armor. Damn it. Yeah, it's fine. He's a fan, Murray. Who's not? He's great. You want some crackers? You hungry? Want some money? Um. Okay. Well. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. You diminish. Mm. Get to work. Take a break. That one's got- he does have an egg! Oh shit, ghost chicken egg. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. 
Oh. Ooh, grease. I think it's chicken grease. Yeah, these float around. I hope my roommates don't get upset. No way am I picking that up with my hands. I wonder what it's made out of. Mmm, ghost chicken feed. Oh, I love how it's animated. Taste it? A refund? No, I, w I want a refund if the if the horse armor is used for something. Because it said it wouldn't be used for any puzzles or anything. Uh, I don't think so. Eat it. Eat it. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? Sweet. And then feed this one. This is important to my quest, probably. Yeah, I did it. Um... Well, I can't see much through this thing. Open it, then. It's screwed. Yep. Or I'm screwed. Yep. Okay, fair. Can I use my knife like a screwdriver? I can. Boy, these are really wedged in there. Really screwed. Yep. Okay, fine. Thank you for letting me try, though. Um. Well, guess we'll get them up and probably a job. The spot. Oh, probably a job for the horse armor. Oi! You missed a spot. Come on. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Can I put grease on the screws? That's some smart thinking. Can I pick it up with the knife? No. Hmm. Boy, these are really wedged in there. Why don't we try to leave? Going somewhere, swabby? You haven't cleaned up that mess. Get back to mobbing. Hmm. I'm feeling just the slightest twinge of regret about the choices I've made up to this point. Use the serial numbers. That'll get us out of there. Swab the screw. Yeah. Swab it up. There you go. Maybe swab Murray. T oh no. Swab the ghost chicken. Swab my back. Yeah. Does he like it? I think he like it. Yeah, they like Close it. Close enough. There you go. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Hey, Murray. Hey! Knock it off. It's got something on you right there. Not funny. It's got a little... I'm warning you. It's a little something. Not funny. Right there. Hey! A little something right there. Not funny. Okay. Um, Swab the feed. That's good. Swap the floor. Oh, yeah. Look at me go. I'm really swabbying. I got an achievement that says super swabby. Because I swabbed everything, I guess. Well, um. Hmm. I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. No. I'm gonna be like, ta da, it's me. Yeah, getting grease on there would be nice. What else? Yeah. Uh, I got grease on it. From when I swabbed it? Oh. Well. Boy, these are really wedged in there. Sponge the- I don't have the sponge anymore. Oh. Grease on the mop and then on the porthole. You oh, missed the a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> the art on the map on the mop does I'll visibly just put change. A little dab on there. There you go. Get them all greased. Grease up Murray! You're getting it in my eye! Ew. That's disgusting. Ew. There you go, bud. Alright, now it's greased up. I got this from the porthole. Mm-hmm. 
I like that the screws are all bundled in the same... The same inventory. Square. I don't have a bunch of individual screws. Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect sailing weather. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Come on. Tell me what matters. You diminish. Hmm. Maybe I gotta swap outside. Swap the portable. There you go. Better. That's some good swabbing. Grease up myself. Get greasy. Get get no in there. No way am I picking that up with my hands. Can I grease? Can I swab myself? You missed a spot. Yeah, I know. Oh, nuts. Swab me. Or I just gotta... Fair enough. Grease the hole. Admire the mess this I made. This is now a slightly greasy porthole. Bye, Murray. The grease helps. A little. Never mind. Um... The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. So that's where my other stuff is. More grease, maybe? Uh... Or... Yeah, I can't interact with them. Maybe I need the egg. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. More grease. Oh, okay. Yeah, more grease. Looks like you missed a spot. Thank you. Oh, nuts. It's got a lot of grease. Oh, oh yeah, more grease. Looks like you missed a spot. So the grease oh, in the floor nuts. can I make it all slippery? Probably. Oh yeah. Well, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi. Yep. I know. Oh, nuts. Just gonna make a mess everywhere. Aren't Oi. We? Yeah, I know. Oh, nuts. An anti swabby achievement. I already got the swabby achievement, so. Oi. Yep. Yeah, I know. Oh, nuts. Let's go for swabbent. Oi. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. There you go. You I know I did. Oh, How much nuts. grease do you have up there? There you Close go. Enough. There you go. Oi. And what about this? Oh, nuts. Probably can't. I'll let that one alone. She's oh, not yeah, my egg. kit back. Get that gross, too. Good. He wants to play like sparkling. Nuts. I reject your frog and you missed the spot. Um think that might be Oh, there's a spot there. I did miss the spot. <laughs> Looks like you missed the spot. I, I did actually miss Nuts. the spot. <laughs> oh god. There you go. Great. Uh I didn't get an achievement. But that's fine. Maybe Murray Looks needs like to be spot. Maybe needs to be extra gross. Nuts. You can't swab the ladder. Nope. Can't swab it regularly anyway. That's disgusting. There you go. Alright, now can I leave? That is one revolt. It's working. Ugh. Good. More to each spot. I think we're done with missing spots. Thank you, Potato. I can't see anything. Oh. Hey, we have a timer. <laughs> okay. That's a big rudder. Yep, fish. Um Alright. Get an eight-minute timer. I wonder why they changed it from ten minutes. I know he had a line about it being eight minutes now. I can't see anything. Come on the railing. Yeah, alright, let's see. This one doesn't open. Great. What if I use my knife? And I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. But that one. This one doesn't open. Great. Wait. No, no, no. Hold on. There was an anchor. Bloody blah blah. Bloody blah blah. Bloody. Mm hmm. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. That is a small anchor for a ship of this size. Well, fine. All right. 
Blah-dee, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. blah. This is a bunch of empty blah, containers blah, of monkey blood and squidding. Blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Feast your eyes on no. this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. 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 The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? Mm, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. Always have been, Oof. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Mm -hmm. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Mm hmm Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there, in the back! New guy! Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. Hmm, I get that a lot we met about an hour ago. Do you ever go to swabby conventions? <laughs> well, no matter. Go I made and him get laugh? us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Uh, um... Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo... Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem. Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it, then. Meeting adjourned. I hope we don't have to murder Murray. And turn him into potion. We'll finish the potion, and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Mm-hmm. Can't help but notice that the one hanging upside down has that same little fishing lure. Apple Bob? Nice looking skull you've got there, Apple Bob. Now before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax, I was just making conversation. I'll find a skull someplace else. Yeah, I feel the same way, Smash Mouth. He's definitely doing a good job, but it's like hard to compare against such an iconic voice. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. What about some horse armor? Okay. Yowza. Eek. I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. Spooky. Into the ship. Flambe! Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this girl. Yeah, they said the Chuck's an equal opportunity employer. Uh, Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. It's grilby. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. You'll live longer if you remember that, new guy. Do we have a union? You sure don't, Swabby. Damn. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences. Mm-hmm. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. 
Mm-hmm. This is a bunch of empty containers yeah, I know. and preservatives and coloring Just agents. Just checking. Being thorough. Glowy. Ready for cannon firing. Looks like it's empty. Sweet. Yeah, devil crabs like limbs, apparently. Devil crabs! They're gonna pinch! Oh, there he is. Oh! The very first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. I'm gonna attempt to pet Scruffles. He didn't hate it, he was just kind of startled. Maybe if I give him some horse armor? Nope. Interested in crackers? Right. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. He Two does bells, have a flat the skull. Chuck shouting. He does have a flat skull on his hat. Now's not a good time to attract attention. Toasty. Warm. Toasty. Can I throw away stuff in there? Nope. Ahem. I told ye to find a flattened skull. Do it! Before I decide to use yours instead. Oh yeah. Fair enough. Oh. What we got? Where is Cog Island located? Somewhere. It's a myth. It's lore. It's lost to history. Hmm. Hmm. There's nothing you need up there, new guy. Yeah. These open plan offices are all the rage now. Yoink. How many pirates are in Scum Bar at the beginning? Shit. Well, there's one in the foreground, one at the door. I think there were three at the table. And then the three not pirate masters. So I'm thinking eight. I think it was eight. I think it was eight. Yeah! I did. I'm glad they specify in the beginning because obviously Cobb and the fancy lads show up later. Hooray. Laundry time. Oh, I barely touched it. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. Ghost rat. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Yeah. Hey, people, and they're like, mm, guy brushes a pirate. Yeah. No. The Chuck's cabin. No. Hmm. Ah, ah. Hello. You're out and about. I made a bit of a mess in here. Ew. When did that happen? Hey, Murray. Hey, Murray. Why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. Hey. <laughs> Stick him anyway. How's it going in there, Murray? You will pay for this indignity, you worthless skull napper. Where do you want to go, Murray? Where do you want to go? <laughs> I hate that. All right. He is completely defenseless. Sure is. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna save real quick. Oh. Hey, that skull isn't flat. I had to try it. How's it going in there, Murray? You will pay for this in. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I have a skull. Should I put it in the pot? Only if it's a flat one. Oh, yeah. I have a skull for the potion. Great! I have a skull for the potion. I'm happy for you. Guess what, LeChuck? I have a skull for the potion. Is it a flat one? Not exactly. I said a flattened skull, you useless bilge rat. Fair enough. 
Mm -hmm. Stop overfeeding Molly, you rotten clods. She has digestive trouble and I'm tired of cleaning it up. Reminder to all crew, extinguish demon fire with the proper extinguishment. Other methods will not work. Thanks, Peanut. Welcome back. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's flatten the cook skull. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Just say, oh, it's a little name card. Um. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. Hmm. Spooky. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Wait a minute. That looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. Hmm. Ooh, I can't decide which is more disturbing. The Chuck somehow stealing Elaine's wedding veil, or him having a copy made. Mm -hmm. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Mm-hmm. Uh, warm, warm. Ooh. Get it. Whoops. Uh. What word is the curator asking for when solving the crossword puzzle? Okay. Uh. Huh. Got any ideas, Murray? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Crackers? Hmm. And I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. Yeah, I couldn't do anything while I was underwater. Just look at the rudder. Hmm. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. Have a good one, Miss Fluffy Kitty. Nah. Uh oh. Hmm. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh. Brave the galley. That's a good idea. This will go well. Ah, ah. Okay, hi. Back. I got to go back. I wish to be Monkey Island. Can I take this with me? I've got a good feeling about this, but I won't fit through with the mop. Damn it. Okay. So that's most places I can get to now. Uh. Fortunately, there's a much more straightforward way to get in there. Hmm. Feed the chicken some more, maybe she poop a lot. And then, and then it'll poop out- It's the ship's hole. Home sweet home. And she'll poop out the egg, right? That's how that works. Some greasy chicken feed. Yeah, you like that? Have some more. Good chicken noises. How about another one? More people said about the graphics. It looks a lot better in motion. Um. I feel like they should have... I mean, it's it's tough, because, like... I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. It's like, for a game like this, just showing, like, a room in certain contexts could be basically kind of spoilery. Um, I feel like you really want to not show too much, but... I feel like most... Like, the first trailer was animated, but didn't really show a whole lot. It was more like a static little scene. Um... I don't know. Hmm. Can I fix the laundry thing I broke? Don't know. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Uh, screws? Oh. Well, all right then. Hours? And our senior swabby didn't notice that? All right. Well, I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. Do we need a... Well, I don't like those two words together. All right, Murray, it's time for your three o'clock flattening. 
Hmm. 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 Oh no. Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. It's sad because there's one more. I feel the same way. They brought him back just to kill him. Well, he's just been flattened. He's still good. He's still... <laughs> God. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't want to talk to you right now, except to say that exquisite punishments await you at your final resting place. This icon is so sad. I have a skull. Should I put it in the pot? Is it flat? Uncomfortably so. Then yes. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell Chuck the good news. I have a flattened skull. Well, put it in the cauldron and let's get going to Monkey Island. Mm-hmm. I have a flattened skull. I'm happy for you. Thank you. What about Bob? Hey, I have a flattened skull. Great! Sorry if I offended you. Oh, that's okay. I know you're under pressure. Oh, Bob's a good guy. Stop you getting a flag again. Yeah. You know? Hey, what are you? He's fine. Next stop, Monkey Island. Swabby! Good. Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And also... Uh, I... Explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. He's gone. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. Murray. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. Oh, Murray's Redo so the sad. the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know LeChuck like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. No. You told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! <laughs> it's just... mm. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. Fair. That looks like a permanent stain. Ew, smells worse than it looks. It's empty now. What's that? Blendering prospects. Ah, uh, you won't need those. I'll find a way for us to get to Monkey Island. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's flat and covered in potion, but he's fine. Hey, Pop, have you got any ideas on how to get to Monkey Island that don't involve a voodoo potion? My mind's a blank. I try to keep it that way if possible. Done thought to A7 banana. That is the way. Oops. Yeah, they're fine. Now's not a good time to attract attention. A pretty powerful flat. Maybe we can find a laundry int. Laundry. Sup, Flambe? Nice view up here. 
Sure. I'm just looking around for another way to get to Monkey Island. Be nice. Be my guest. I'm just looking around for a be my guest. All right. Uh. Oh. Hey, Flambe, ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison. Ready the cannons. Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. Everyone knows I know the recipe. that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. They undercut my expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. Those double-crossing thieves, that's piracy. Kind of relief when I think about it. Those double-crossing thieves, that's piracy. Well, I'm not sure what else you were expecting under the circumstances. Thanks, Fombe. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. They're all out of flattened skull. Aha! They're missing a skull. We don't need a potion because they have one. All they need is a skull and they'll be heading for Monkey Island. I got an idea. We don't need a potion because they have one. What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It's on the Make box. Ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You're right. You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is going to be great. If you say so. Swabby. They don't know that, though. These things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all do. <laughs> okay. These things get more sophisticated every year. Well, looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. Yeah, Flambe's fun. It is kind of neat, too, that they have a, uh, another, uh, another demon other than LeChuck in the third game. It's kind of hanging out. Well, we can go in the galley now. Oh, hello. Flayer Glory. I've got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island after all. Does Iron Rose know you're working on that? Instead of swabbing things that need swabbing? Not yet, but I'm on my way to tell her. Mm-hmm. You'd think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. Good. Great. Ghost rat. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. Fair. Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It was demon pepper, made from well, demon right, peppers. Game which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. Doesn't matter though, the shaker's empty. I'm all out. I know, I said I like spicy food. It's supposed to burn the whole way through, right? Dave Grossman start working at Lucasfilm Games in 87, 90, 88, or 89? What? <laughs> Thanks for the hydrate. How would I know? I mean, it's got to be before 90, because that's when Monkey Island 1 came out. 1912. This is actually trivia. Roll a d4. Yeah, right? Guess I'm not a super fan. 89, final answer. Sweet. Thanks. <laughs> I would have guessed 88 or 89. Just considering a lot of the team that made the first Monkey Island were new to LucasArts at the time. Because I think, I think like, games like Loom were the more experienced team. Like the A team, and Monkey Island was the B team. Sure, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I've got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island yeah, after right. all. Good for you, Swabby. You should take that straight to the top. LeChuck! Of course not. I mean Iron Rose. Right. Good thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I'm not sure those are quite dead yet. The pasta? Isn't dead yet? At first I thought the privy must be behind there, but no, it's just the pantry. It sounds like screaming, but really quiet. Many cards have been correct answers. Oh, Alicia. At least they're not permanently failable. They just come back after a while or whatever it is. 
What's the soup of the day? Some former crew members who uh, didn't work out. Yikes. It's a delicacy. Soup. Get in the soup. Horse armor. Okay. Hey, Chuck, guess what I got? You, Swabby, come over here. Hello. Ye be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Guy, uh, Mike, Bloodsword the Feared, Crazy Beard the Beardless, Eye Gouger the Reckless, Swabby. We already said our name was Andrew LeChuck. No relation. Mike, look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. Yeah, right. Fair. Okay. Uh... Do, do, How's do, it going in there, Murray? Do, 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 I don't know do, what you're planning do. now. Hmm. What if? Okay, Murray. I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. We're the good guy, right? I better get my hands on the Chuck's map first. Oh. Yeah, fair. Oh, are we hopping in with Murray? And then do we need that the pot? That looks like a pot permanent stain. From the... Yeah, smells worse than it looks. Hmm. How much is the game? Uh, it's 25 bucks. At least on Steam. I'm assuming it's the same on Switch. I'll leave my work down here. Okay. I thought I could maybe clean up the top deck. Hmm. He hasn't been good since the first game. He's kind of been a jerk ever since. Uh, so when you steal his map, oh, I should talk to I am Rose. Duh. I die. A yeah, it, it sucks real bad to look at. I guess I, I have could an clean amazing it up. idea. Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So. So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. Everything's all set. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hole. Whoa, hang on. Uh, I'm a little surprised to hear this. What do you mean you don't want to go to Monkey Island? Why wouldn't you want to go to Monkey Island? I thought the whole point of the voyage was to go to Monkey Island. What do you mean you don't want to go to Monkey Island? It's not a cryptic metaphor, Swabby. We mean we don't want to go. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk Guybrush Threepwood. I think you're making a Thank mistake. Thank you, Dan. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed good, to bud. be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 Uh, aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. I can, ask you a fa uh, I can do you a favor in return. As quartermaster, seems like you should be more loyal to Chuck. Aren't you curious about the secret? Aren't you curious about what the secret might turn out to be? Not really. No. Most secrets turn out to be either disappointing or disturbing. That's why people cover them up in the first place. 
that's actually pretty fair. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Mm, not so far. Mm-hmm. Quartermasters of a large share of power in a ship. Yeah, but they're not a half-master. They're only a quartermaster. As quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. Through a reddish haze of constant anger, as his own personal plaything, as a big round box with a ribbon on it and the secret of Monkey Island inside. Through a reddish haze of constant anger? I don't know, that's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Hmm. Gotta find that spark again. Bob, I confess I'm a little confused about what your job is. I mean, I know you hang up there all day, I'm just not sure why. As yardarm hanger, I serve as an example to the crew of what might happen if they break the rules. It's an important role, though admittedly not an exciting one. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. Get you transferred to the other yard. I'll take your next shift. I'll be your best friend. What would you be interested in? I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. Maybe some fine leather jackets. Hmm. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Sea shanties? Nope. Clog dancing? Nope. Oh, God. Basket weaving? Not really. Oh, no. Meditation? Not really. Oh, shit. Bowling? Nah. Flea circus? Hmm, not so much. Keel hauling? Hmm, not so much. Embroidery? Well, no. Improvisational theater? Nope. Model ship building? Nah. Animal husbandry? Not really. Yodeling? Nah. Carpentry? Hmm, not so much. Whittling? Nah. Whistling? Not really. Philosophical discussion? Hmm, not so much. Water ballet? Hmm, not so much. Gin rummy? Hmm, not so much. Checkers? Well, no. Burnt sienna? Historical novels? I do enjoy reading. Aha! Biographies? I do enjoy reading. Autobiographies? I do enjoy reading. Adventure stories? I do enjoy reading. Travel guides? I do enjoy reading. Self-help books? I do enjoy reading. Crime thrillers? I do enjoy reading. Yeah, I think he enjoys reading. Speculative fantasy? I do enjoy reading. Uh, one sec. Uh, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Bath sent me a bunch of pictures on Discord. Romance novels? I do enjoy reading. Hmm. Reading? I do enjoy reading. Reading? Reading? I do enjoy reading. <laughs> I just... Reading? You want me I to show them? I do enjoy reading. Why do you text me, Bath, when you're in the reading? chat? I do enjoy reading. Reading? I do enjoy reading. Reading? I do enjoy reading. I'll see what I can find. Jeez. You guys want to see some very old pictures of me and Bath? I do enjoy raiding. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. 
ends up with. Do we? Do we ever? Uh. These are these are some these are some real good real good pictures. Yep, there's that one. There, there's the, just yep. Yep. That most of these are extremely blurry. <laughs> just good. I this is exceptional. Thank you. This is good too. Thank you, Bar. Appreciate it. That's good. Hey Evbe. I do enjoy reading. Thank you. <laughs> Extremely blurry, out of focus selfies. Who are they? I know. Uh, thank you, everybody. I do enjoy reading. Potato Ghosty, thanks for five months. Unimaginative Peanut, thanks for five months. Chat's looking particularly cute today. And, uh, Daft Boy Trunk, thanks for 48 months. That's a lot of months. I hope you enjoy your, uh, your, your, is that, is that a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. That's, um, that's a key card. Four years. Wow. Thank you. Afrasabi. I do enjoy reading. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, back. Hi. Working hard? Never. Hmm. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. Unheard of in this world. <laughs> Bath cannot be photographed. Uh, Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. I do enjoy reading. Think you'll be done reading soon? Nah, I don't really have anything else to do. It's good, Matt, man. Think you'll be done reading soon? Nah, I don't... Hmm. Does it hurt to have your head on fire? I'm a demon. We're sort of all about that. You get used to it. If you stuck your head in a bucket of water, would it help? Demon fire burns into water, so no. I'm guessing you don't wear hats. Once in a while, <laughs> I look good in them. For a few seconds. I can't stop thinking about your head. I mean, what it would be like to have a head that was on fire. I can help you out with that if you are really curious. It's weird that it's not raining up here. I can't stop thinking about I mean, what if- I can help you. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Yeah, same dude. Uh, about your vote. It doesn't mean much to me one way or the other. But hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You want me to scratch your back? <laughs> figure of speech. No need to burn yourself. Do something nice for me and maybe I help you. I guess we're above the we're above the clouds. Yeah, maybe. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. Just jump. Here's the 300 bits. Want to be friends? I mean, not in a parasocial way, no. <laughs> but thank you for the bits. I do appreciate it. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, so we need to find the really spicy pepper thing. Mm. Keep up the bad work. Always. No. <laughs> Kiss the demon. Sha la 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 la, don't be a demon. Hmm. Not like that. Well, I don't know you. Uh, so Claire? What do you it's want? It's gonna be tough. Um. Can we talk it. about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it, and now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back, right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. <laughs> 
Uh, I have a different knife. Nice try, Swabby. But that's not my knife. Damn it. It's not even a whale knife. Darn it. Hmm. I never found any. Ghost Pepper's red herring. Oh. Appreciate it, Alicia. So, Putra. Chef Putra. Please call me Chef. Everybody does. No, they don't. You? No, never. But they should. All right. Um. Ogres. Don't be less than friends with more than strangers, smiley face. Enjoy your cute card. The smiley face is making me scared. Thank you. Uh, um, oh, yeah, look at that text. Go! I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath. I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, mm. that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. I don't know who at Twitch designed the smiley face, the default smiley, but it's maybe the best emote or emoji I've ever seen of anything ever. How come people don't call you chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit him in the mouth. Oh, game which, man. by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. I'm glad we have smilers in chat today. You know, it's always, it's always a pleasure. A chef is better than a cook. A chef outranks a cook. A chef get paid more than a cook. Have you tried to get a promotion? That is a pretty good shrimp. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's Pagogos. tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. A cook is someone who prepares the cooks, but a chef is a skilled and trained cook who works in a hotel or restaurant. Well, alright. Huh. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Give us your bones. I guess I'm only using some of them. How many do you need? I can probably spare, like... 10 or 12 bones. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? Ah, I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. 14? It's the principle three. of the thing. 14 bones is a lot of bones. 13 bones? That's more reasonable. 205 bones. That's a lot of bones. Can they be bones from other people? Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska. But I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. Mm-hmm. What exactly is a Scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam, and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. That sounds good. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. Hmm. Uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. It's messed up. You must have experiences like that. My birthday party clown gig really dried up. My bridge club shunned me. They think all I want to do is eat brains, definitely. Let me get my connect. <laughs> there you go. Ice nerd. Uh, yeah. My birthday party clown gig yeah. really dried up. Imagine thinking zombies are scarier to children than clowns are. <laughs> There's no justice. It's absurd. It's legit. 
How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> How about you? Me? Um... I'm a zombie by marriage. I was asleep at the time. I'm allergic to strawberries too. Another zombie bit me while trying to eat my brain, of course. I'm a zombie by marriage? <laughs> Good one. I was married once too. I know what you mean. Nice. Anyway... Uh... I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Okay. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. Hey, Cheshire Kit. How you doing? Putra makes a compelling case. All right, well, let's give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? plan offices are all the rage now. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! Hello. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured mm. by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So, I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. Fair enough. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, trying to get to Monkey Island. Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initial. Some say it's grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. Yippee. Hmm. Log messes found around the ship. Okay. That seems dangerous. Oh. I better just show it to Iron Rose like I'm supposed to. Fair enough. Uh. Yep. No, they're not gonna learn we're not a zombie. We're great. I still think you should vote to- I don't want to talk of having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. Could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. So now I can fill it out. That seems dangerous. Well, I'm not trying to initial it. I better it. just show it to Iron Rose like I'm supposed to. Long messages, messes found around the ship. Do I have to use it with the messes? Okay. Disgraceful. There you go. What about the mess I made? <laughs> I made a lot of messes down here. Hmm. Ah, oh, this looks pretty good to me. It's revolting. And it's a slipping hazard. Mm-hmm. What about, uh... Yeah, maybe that. Ugh, guess I should have cleaned that. But I'll leave it for the next swabby. There you go. Maybe that too. I'm not sure if this is ectoplasm or what. Ugh. Don't forget about this one. I've already added this to my report. Oh, all this counts? I've already added this to my report. Ah, jeez. That is one revoltingly greasy pork. Ah. Get in there. Get in there, champ. Um... I wonder if there's anything down here. Oh. Hey there, bud. Kill it! You! How is he stuck? He's pretty securely <coughs> pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby! It's first swap now. You might want to take a friendlier tone. I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Nice talking to you. Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me. LeChuck gave me your job. You! 
Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! That sounds adorable, actually. You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pillow Sounds more instrument. like Blachuk the Blachuk. Yeah. I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? I can't really stop doing it. But it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git. Which thing? Which thing, Leisha? I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? I guess you've got me there. Ah. The way thing? Oh, to run down the clock. If I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that is already? It, is it worth it? Leverage. As in, I'm going to get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again! It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. <laughs> the, the, the clock beeped. Uh, you need more time than it seems. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, oh. nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait. No, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake, you baboon! I get you for this. I'm, I'm assuming because he can hold his breath for ten minutes, but the timer is for eight, so I'll get down to eight and be like, actually, you have two more minutes. Is that what's gonna happen? That's Flare Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. Oh yeah. You oh, clown! That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. Yeah, I can save. Uh, boop, ba -doop, boop. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. That was me. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Mm hmm. What if I stab him again? It's Flare Gory's grandmother's <sighs> whale knife. <sighs> a bit longer than 10. Gotcha. They really want you to earn having to wait. Hmm. I'm assuming no one will actually read this and come down here to find him. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. So that's... Potion stand on upper deck. Greasy porthole. Grease spots and hold. Splattered ghost. Chicken glop and hold. Unsightly mess obstructing ship's rudder. Very good. Stab with the other knife to even it out. Yeah, I should replace the hole. Oh, wow. Well. He's the one screen we turn the wheel. Yep. You want some money? What about some horse armor? Not the most promising underwater gear. Still, you never know when you're going to run across a giant seahorse. They added dialogue for the horse armor when you're underwater. Four minutes plus time. Signed it. That seems dangerous. I better just show it to Iron Rose like I'm supposed to. Forge LeChuck's signature. Uh, I don't think I could mimic his signature. It's pretty distinctive. Damn Future it. makes a compelling... I have to actually get him to sign it. Uh... Pirate Times. Editor, <laughs> con... <laughs> How you doing there, bud? I've got enough to last me. I can count them. Uh, yeah, go for it, Leisha. I appreciate you being cautious, but yeah. Feel free to just tell me. I mean, at this point, I feel like we've already waited this long. Just keep waiting. 17 minutes. Okay, that is... That's another 12 minutes. <laughs> Do we want to wait another 12 minutes, chat? Uh, I mean, I'm curious too, but I'm sure there's already a YouTube video of it. Right? Yeah? You want to wait it out? Not really. I'll hydrate. We've already waited this- yeah, but that- that- listen. It's not that- alright, there's a hole. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Gam, you should've just made the pull 12 minutes. <laughs> like, the time limit for the pull. So it's like, uh, and we're not waiting. Okay, and then I leave at 11.59. Or it's 16.59, whatever, yeah. <laughs> How you doing? 
You good? Can I get you anything? You can get me unstuck from it's this nice. runner. Thank you very much, you insufferable slug. Well, I was thinking more like a breath mint. Ugh. Well, how you doing, chat? Can I get you anything? You can get me. I don't think. Ugh. Can I get you? You can get me. I don't think so. Ugh. Yeah. A handful of achievements. You gotta do that. Um. A guy with that thing. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the house. Enjoy the emotes and your current scoping of key and happy subby tembi. You got a little discount because if you're a first time subscriber or if you're a prime sub converting it to a regular sub or if you were gifted a sub, you can add on another month all for a discounted price for subby tembi. This is the only monkey mode. This is real monkey mode. <laughs> It's your husband, Lux and Lurker. Well, happy to have you. Thank you so much. How's the weather? You know, it was kind of getting hot there for a bit down here in SoCal, but it's been cooling off a bit. I think next week it's going to warm up again, but you know, it's summer forever. I did finish Elden Ring. We're going to be streaming Elden Ring soon, TM. Soon. Maybe Sunday. And doing a big spoiler stream where we're just... <laughs> Me and people on a call and chat, we just, any spoilers, are all on the table. How about that sports ball? <laughs> also, game finished it on stream if you're interested. Yes, 87% said yes, we're waiting. Alright, got another couple minutes. How about that GTA 6 leak? Thanks for the hydrate. I do need to refill my water, so maybe I'll do that once we drown. Um... Yeah, well, I mean, the title of the stream will be, like, spoilers. Like, I will make it very clear that it'll be spoiler-filled. Yeah, no, we definitely... Time's almost up. Now I have to finish it. Yeah, finish it. You got a couple days. Uh, 20 seconds. Yeah, that, that GTA 6 leak is wild. I, I watched a fair amount of it, and I definitely agree, like, the discourse that I've seen has kind of shifted very quickly to be like, this is kind of... This kind of sucks. <laughs> this isn't, like... This isn't a fun leak. It's like we knew they were working on it. Just now we don't get the reveal that they would have crafted for us. It's just like... Oh, Dad, you didn't die. Quit goofing around. Uh, you're right. Hey, I Liam. could still hold my breath a little longer. But time was running out. <laughs> and another six minutes to the clock. Ah, oh, God. That's great. That That's... Um, that's one of my favorite bits. Like, it's the same thing in Monkey Island 2. When, uh, you, you fail to solve the puzzle and get lowered into a pit of acid and you're screaming and dying and Elaine's like, What? <laughs> How do, what? What are you talking about? He holds breath longer than 10 minutes. Listen, he's been training since Secret of Monkey Island. What time paradox is going to happen when you fail? You know what? Now, you know, here's my prediction. Here's what I'm thinking now. This is gonna run out and he's gonna be like, really? And he's gonna be like, nah, I got more time. And then it's gonna happen a third time. Then when that timer runs out, the timer's just gonna go away and they'll just let us be underwater forever. That's what I'm expecting. Unreliable narrator. The shame of the city is attempting to tell actual game devs how game development works. Uh, yeah, that's... The, the thing that's a bummer is how many people are like, man, GTA 6 looks bad. It's like, it's still in development. <laughs> like, come on. Um, I know not, I know your average gamer doesn't understand how games are made, which is fair. They're complicated, and the process has been kind of secretive for a long time, <laughs> especially <laughs> on that level. Um, but it's just like, I don't know. It's not, it's not the kind of thing where they've been holding out on us, and there's like, it, there's like some righteous justification to, to, to steal all this footage and leak it. It's like... You could have just waited like another couple years and then see that it, it, it will you can judge it on its own merits then you know, but absolutely insane response. It's bizarre <laughs> Flower doesn't look yummy either. It turns out great. I mean also I I've never really played GTA for the graphics anyway And also what I saw to be fair looked really fucking good for an in-development game but Whatever, it's fine the control alpha having boxes just said, throw me, throw me, throw me. <laughs> I haven't seen that. That's good. Uh, Claire X, and thanks for 44 months. Monthly contributions to the house once again. Feeling in the dumps lately. The heck this game. 
Well, well, I'm glad this game can cheer you up a bit. Um, sorry things have been poopy lately. Here's hoping things pick up soon. You mean putting 4K textures filters on tests aren't the first thing they worked on, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's wild. Five look good enough. Five still looks good. Let alone the fact that it's been ported like uh, 20 times. Have you had a piss break? No, and I need to refill water too. I guess I could do that now. I think I just would rather wait for the three minutes to be up. The boy gets sick of it. He just, he's like, come on, dad. And then he just walks away and then credits roll. That would be a good bit. When I worked with GTA 5, I joined and most of the characters were completed, but there was no water, no water anywhere. For two years of me working there, no right way or actual way of stage how to get things developed. No, it's it's dependent on the team and the team's goals and that stage of development. I, yeah. It makes perfect sense to me. They'd be like, well, well, you know. For a game as big as GTA 5, I would not be surprised if they're like, we're waiting to do water for last. You know, we'll have like animations and temp stuff in there, but... Maybe you want to wait till late in development to figure out what kind of budget you have left for water shaders and stuff. You don't want to make gorgeous looking water and then at the 11th hour be like, shit, we need to make the water look like shit so we can have the game run at a decent frame rate, you know? I don't know. I'm only guessing, but it's, it's a complicated process and I can't even fathom making a game of that scale. It's wild. So... The reason 5 looks bad is because it's in California. Yeah, it's realistic. <laughs> That's just what it looks like. I mean, my favorite GTA has been 4 for a long time. That game just... I think it was like... That game hit me at the right time, and I just really enjoyed the shenanigans in it. The vibes of 4. Enjoyed it. Maybe it's not even a plan. I think you said a million things to do, and I've got to run. Yeah, it's just like it's on the list. They have a rough ap approximation of the man hours they'll need to get something shippable. It's like, we have more pressing concerns. They're not gonna ship a game like that with no water. <laughs> but, yeah, but if the game leaked, they'd be like, what the hell, there's no water? G GTA 5, this is just like, just, it's fine. Also, say what you will about Rockstar's games, but they know how to make a trailer. Every Rockstar game since maybe, like, Vice City, I don't remember any trailers for GTA 3, that's why I'm not mentioning it. It's like every single GTA game, every Red Dead, whatever it is, they've had some of the best trailers for any game I've ever seen. Um, they know how to present a product, whether or not you like their games. It's all brown though. It's what plants crave. Give them more water! Damn it. Alright, we got 20-something seconds until we die for real. Toilets have water. That's the only water in the game. 15. The beeping's reminding me of, of uh, Spy Party. That does a little beep whenever a minute passes. Here we go. Sonic drowning music intensifies. Yeah, I hope so, Ran. Dad, yeah. stop it! I'm sorry, I didn't know you were this into my story. I'll try to be more serious. <laughs> Put 343 in the... Okay, well, I'm gonna get some water and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs>
It paused? Why did it pause? Oh. Huh. Hey, I'm back. Um. <laughs> I guess if you AFK. Okay. Well, glad I got back. Huh. Yeah, keep the cursor moving. Hi, Oaf. How you doing? This is Marshal Hercules Hansen. The breach is sealed. Stop the clock. Why does that game need this feature? I don't know. Seems like a weird feature for the game to have. Anyway, we got a minute 20 till we die for real. Y'all excited? My favorite cocktail. Hmm. Can't say I'm one of those that's drank a lot of cocktails ever. Um. I've had like a handful of mixed drinks. Can I speak of eulogy? Yeah, go for it. Man, I don't know. I don't know if it, I mean, it's probably a cocktail. Um, when I was in Europe, after graduating from high school, a friend gave me a fuzzy navel, which is a screwdriver with peach schnapps. And that was pretty tasty. But most of the time I go out, I would either, my go-tos are either beer or um, uh, rum and coke. It's pretty much all I ever really dabble with. I did. Twitch never gave me a chance to add a sub message. First time subber, long time lurker with my wife. Life's been harder recently. It makes her day when you respond to her messages. I want to tell you thanks. Ah. That is extremely sweet. And I really appreciate it. Favorite beer. For a while it was Winter Abbey Ale. Which is a limited blue moon seasonal thing. I don't know what it is these days. Many years ago on this very day, Guybrush Threepwood died from what authorities would later call an accidental drowning. He leaves behind his beloved wife, Elaine. They had no children. Oh, we actually changed the timeline. Oh, good. While he had many mighty adventures, the most important one of all went unfulfilled. The secret has never been found. <laughs> well, all right then. I got an achievement. <laughs> we beat the game! Yay! Well, thank goodness I saved. They don't even just drop you back in. Bench percent, baby! Oh god. 25 trivia. Found all copies at the end of the play. I don't even know if I want to look at all these. Yeah, it's, it's fine. 37 with all wall stock. We missed something. Whatever, it's fine. Put me back in. Your save file has been deleted. Anyway, let's get back to playing the game, damn it. You managed to die in a monkey island. Yeah, it takes some doing. You really gotta earn it. What were we doing? I got a knife. Ending E for eh. Yeah. Up. Uh, up. I didn't complete the list. Oh, you're right. Okay, I'll go back and grab it. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. Welcome. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. This is the end of the game. For your not at all. Plan. I feel like we're not even at the halfway point. Um. Uh, Flair? What do you want? Meh. Uh, forgive me, but I'm unclear. What exactly is your job on this ship? This is I'm chapter second two. second mate, boson, gunner, ship surgeon, and composer. And I do the laundry. Wow. Save a little for the rest of us, huh? You after my jobs? Better not be. I need the cash. I'm saving up. What are you saving up for? None of your business, Swabby. Mm -hmm. I want to check in on your vote about going to Monkey Island. Relax. I'll vote with you. I owe you one. Go swap a deck or something. Will I do. will. Uh, Flair? Yes? Uh... Well, how come you stabbed Gullet? He asked too many questions. How many questions did he ask? One. Mm -hmm. uh, Flair? What do you want? Mm -hmm. What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. I'm happy with the first two notes. 
They're both dough. The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes, my target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. You must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? Should you call him a dodo? Or is it the first four notes of Megalovania? Because it's da da. Ba -ba. Ba -da. Snake Baconator, thanks for subbing. Welcome. Happy subby Tembi. Hope you enjoyed the emotes. Welcome to the house. How's the score going? It would be going a lot better with fewer interruptions. When they cut and they just showed These the. These open plan offices right. are all the rage now. When they cut and just showed the. Um... The bench, I just thought I was just gonna sit on the bench and just be like, they left. <laughs> they got bored and left. Uh, I need to get the thing again. Zoom. Yep, think so. On my way. Oh boy. Megalovania Signal Alabama store the same four notes. Bum hey, bum bana. Ba da ba ba. Fuck you. Oh no. Oh no. I'm assuming no one will actually read this. And that's oh, it. my day is ruined. Sweet home sands of Bama. Da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Where his eye is so blue. Shit. Fuck. No, 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 Yes. Ugh. Very thorough. Mm -hmm. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a stack of papers waiting for LeChuck's signature. What if we... Whoop. There you go. It's a stack of papers, including Putra's promotion paper, ready to be signed by LeChuck. Ho, ho, ho. He he hoo hoo. Hoo hoo he hoo ho. What? That seemed very high pitched for LeChuck. Hi. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. What? <laughs> you got it, buddy. N Sup? It's Chef Putra's request for promotion, stamped by LeChuck. It's a stack of papers stamped by LeChuck. Check this out. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. Mm hmm So, Chef. Now that you're a chef, would you make me a scorched Alaska? Of course. I have to warn you, though, it's not going to be very spicy. It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska, extra mild. Thanks. I need to make it spicy. Salty. Light as sea foam. Salty. How do I make it spicy? Remind me what you told me about the pepper. It's very, very, very hot and very empty. They make it hot, like in a like in a pot. Hardly any warmer now. Hmm. I have a stupid idea, which means it's plausible. First, let's drop off the paperwork. I don't have time for that right now. It's all stuff LeChuck has to approve anyway. But di didn't he? It's a stack of papers stamped by LeChuck. Yeah. There you go. I don't have time for that right I don't... Yeah, I was thinking, what if we just stick it on his head? Eh. 
I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Mm. Ugh, take the monstrosity away. Its blandness offends me, even at a distance. Scotch Alaska must be like a hot poker to the tongue. Hmm. Getting warmer. There must be a way to get it on maybe the horse armor. Yeah. Uh, crackers? Hey, Flambe. Would you like some crackers? Oh, yeah. Crackers, I like my feet. And that I want to keep them as far from my mouth as possible. Uh-huh. Hot poker from the cannon. That is on fire. <laughs> Hot point thing. That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Hmm. There were candles in his office. True. Come on. Get in there. What? I don't know why that what cracks me up so bad. Hardly any warmer now. Yeah, I need some real fire. Take it. That's my private area, Swabby. Okay. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. I feel like the supply of paperwork is endless. Mm hmm All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Demon fire, right. Like the guy who wants it. Is it gradually getting hotter? I don't think so. Also, I can't. I don't have time for that rock. Okay. I guess that's just a layover. This is a bunch of the... empty containers of monkey blood and squidding. No. You uh, okay in there, Marie? When I get out of here, I'm going to chew both your legs off and use your traitorous fingers to pick my teeth. Okay then. Just checking. Toasty. Hardly any warmer now. Come on. One bell. Voting hour. I didn't mean to. I just. Well, there was a bell. The I meeting is it. called to order. Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. Nay. Nay. A aye. hot poker. Nay. Nay. That's more eyes than before. But the vote to go must be unanimous. Sorry, Swabby. Meeting adjourned. Mm hmm. Um. Hot poker. What about like a demon chicken egg? You know, as a as a gift. Use it with the grease. Hmm. Let me kiss the demon man. I don't know. Let's look at our steals map. Get everyone's support. So I need to do something with the Chuck to get Iron Rose excited again. Putra needs the hmm hmm. Oh, yeah, Putra just goes with Rose, right? What is all this stuff anyway? Oh, you know, urchin husks, bile duck extract, sugar, fang weed. Nothing unusual. Demon chicken sandwich to warm it up like an egg. I don't know if that's spicy enough. Hmm. 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 Okay, cut the cannon stick. Cut off the tip. Well, aren't you smart? Damn it. This should make it good and scorching. Okay. All right. You take a bite of it. I don't think I should. I'm not big on fire eating. Okay. All right. I had the right idea with using the fire poker. Just he gave me a hint and then I was oblivious to it. There you go. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska. Sweet poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. Mm-hmm. He said it was too big. He did. It seals <laughs> you inside. Yeah. Like a lost love. A masterpiece. Hey, 
There's some missing. I, um, well... Much respect, Swabi. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so... Uh, let's just say Thank I you. bought your way. Next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. I earned his respect by taking a bite earlier. That's very cute. Um. Would you describe this book as entertaining? I would use a short. Would you describe... I would use a short... Uh, uh, but... You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Sweet. It's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. It's Flambe's... Give me some jokes! Fine. Guess what I got from my favorite fan of reading. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Reading? I do enjoy reading. Reading? I do enjoy reading. I'll see what I can find. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. Okay. How's the book, Bob? Oh, it's very funny. I don't think I've ever heard any of the jokes before. Good. So you're still on my side about the Monkey Island vote, right? Sure, sure. Great. I still think you should vote. I don't want to talk about having a crisis of. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so we we need to get her to be excited about LeChuck again. Hmm. These open plan offices are all the rage now. Show her the pamphlet. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby. I want this map. Keep your eyes off. Let me have the map. Um. Horse armor. Stab him. Be done with it. You want a cracker? Okay. Ring the bell twice for LeChuck yelling time. That would be something. I can try showing her the pamphlet first. Inspirational reading. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust. Commit fraud. Threaten bodily harm. So unswerving. So unapologetically Good heartless. idea. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I think Sweet. I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. Let's do it. Bam. Two rings. That time again already? Well, let's get to it. Eyes front, you disgusting cool. heaps of festering scum. With two M's. Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Play. Don't mind if I do. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. It's not much of a map. There's take just it. some writing on it, but clearly it's important. Why it's won't you take? Why map. won't you take? There's it. just some writing on it. Why won't you pick it's it important. up? Guy brush, pick it up. Got to swap it out. Uh, this isn't remotely like a map. He'd notice it right away. Are you kidding me? I need a map. These are signed already. Wait, I have a map. A map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need a unanimous vote from the crew. No problem. Uh. Hopefully he'll be fooled for long enough. And who knows? Maybe he needs a new mop handle. Not that we left him any forest to make his own. Begin your search at the red berry bush. Follow the stone monkey hand. Stick to the path by the wooden chicken. Sneak past the bees. 
and heed the sign, X marks the spot. Let's go, go, skull guy. M for monkey. As much of a map, it's more directions. Conclusion, shave up or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass. All right, same time tomorrow then. Dismissed. Go work. What happens if I ring the bell more than two times? Back. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Thanks, Pop. That's not an official bell signal. I don't know what nah, that right. means. Yeah, all right. Just want to see if there's any dialogue there. Okay. Let's have a vote, damn it. How you doing, Murray? You uh, okay in there, Murray? Well, I get out of here. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, then. He's okay. Sup? Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Okay. Go ring the bell yourself. Now, yeah, right. Sheesh. Hey, cat. One bell. Voting hour. Didn't we just do this? The meeting is called to order. Some random number. Are there any matters no. to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor. None opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island. Almost. It was time to send Murray back to Madison. Flattened Murray. So, everything's more or less ready to go? As soon as Madison's ship gets underway, we'll follow it. Why wasn't Madison's ship going yet? Well, they still needed a flattened skull to finish their potion, and it was up to me to get it over to them. If you're doing it 69 times to get the secret orgy, that was the backer reward. Maybe, maybe Scruffles just wants some, uh, some crackers. Or the map to the secret. Some horse armor. Maybe a knife. Bob just goes nice. Man, I'm tempted. It'll take way too long. Uh, <laughs> got some good jokes? There has to be a way to cut it. How's the book, Bob? Oh, it's very funny. Good. Um, you uh, okay in there, Murray? Okay, then. Good. Well... Nailed it. <laughs> He's doing it just fine. She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. Days pass. No, We're fine. nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. That we've been to many times. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <laughs> <laughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. <gasps> hey! All right. right. <laughs> but... Guybrush. Damn it. Ravewood! Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. Oh shit. You move like a wounded hippopotamus. I'm gonna skewer you like a pig on a spit. You're as rusty as that butter knife you call a sword. Let's make this quick, I got an appointment with the secret. You move like a wounded hippopotamus. You move like a dead one. Damn. 
Okay. Decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all bluster, no luster. All flavor, no saber. Buttress, no cutlass. All swagger, no dagger. You're all swagger and no dagger. I've got plenty of dagger. Blast. Oh. Hey, you're cheating. Hey, yeah. cheating. I won that round. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one. Oh, been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Like a conductor's baton. It's waving goodbye. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Yeah, that's pretty good. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Wholesome Too family to moment. start doing your job now, Swabby. Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's got to be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Hi, Threepwood. Part three, return the monkey. He did the reverse Uno. Monkey Island, six minute walk. Oh my God. Good thing I can still hold my breath for 10 minutes, more or less. Is it more, or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for 10 minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. One time, I heard you say 12. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do 10 minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. Now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. There's no way I could ever pass this. Impassable terrain. Um. Well, we are, we are, I mean, I saved, it's fine. Um, this might be a decent place to stop. He might have to hold his, his, hold his breath for 48 hours. We're six minutes away. Well, it's like either we walk over to Monkey Island and a bunch of shit happens, and I'm like, oh, well, now I don't want to stop. Or, uh, or we just leave it now until Thursday. I'll come back to this on Thursday, though. How's that sound? Yeah. Sorry. He can do it. No, he can hold his breath for two days. What if we let the timer run out? That'd be real funny. <laughs> also, yeah, we just started part three and haven't done anything. So, we'll do it Thursday. Hopefully, we can finish it Thursday. I don't know. Feels like we didn't make a lot of progress, but also, you know, I'm taking my time and trying to talk to everyone and stuff. It's the opposite of a cliffhanger, because we're at the bottom of, a, of the sea. Um, game paused. Well... Thank you, everyone. I hope you've been enjoying Return to Monkey Island. I certainly have been so far. I'm really into it. Um, nice. Thank you. Smash Matt. The rate messages, I do enjoy raiding. I do enjoy raiding. And speaking of raid, let's go say hi to Deer. How about that? Deer's playing some Pokemon Unite. How about that? Pokemon? A Pokemon. That was fun. Thanks for streaming. Appreciate it. Uh... Tune in on Thursday stream for more monkey. Uh, thank you, everyone. If uh, uh, if someone is still here from the Dodger raid at the beginning of stream, thanks for hanging out. I hope Dodger's doing well. I haven't talked to her in a long time. Um, I know I know the Gen One Pokemon and some whatever Sword and Shield Gen was. So, yeah, have a good time saying hi to Deer. Um, hope to see you on Thursday for more of this. And. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm having fun. I don't have much to say. Like, you know, I had my concerns about the art, but it's definitely grown on me. Um, I had my concerns about, like, not concerns, I had questions about how they would modernize, make a modern point and click, and like, yeah, just kind of having one or two interactions with things. Definitely simple, but like, I think it works. And like, they're make they're getting a lot of mileage out of this about like when you mouse over stuff it has like internal dialogue stuff, um, which uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like stuff like that like that wouldn't work with the old verb style like other than look at, I guess but change the base based on context. It's there's there's a lot of 
stuff in. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> I'm just, I, get out of here. Get out of here. Goodbye. Uh, thanks, VOD watchers, for VOD watching. As I said earlier, this game's on Switch and Steam. Hope you check it out. Um, and hope you enjoy it. Uh, and and, and you can play it for yourself and let me know what you think and all that. Um, and uh, we'll get back to this next time. Take care. And see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Five minutes. I better better have a safety save just just in case. Just in backup safety save. I'll just save over this. Well, five minutes to do a six minute walk seems like maybe we just leave our save alone. Maybe we just save. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>